Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the cutest Atari... It's Atar the best source. It's the best source. It's definitely the best source. And the cutest Atari cats. Hmm. And other cats, too. Mm -hmm. Named Sprite. So he's playing with his pinball machine. <laughs> There's a little ball that's trapped in the wooden box, and it's got... Three so by young. four, 12 holes that he goes bang, 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 bang. He's so young that he hasn't yet figured out that he's never getting that ball. <laughs> he's never, he's never going to get it. Yeah, he still thinks he's going to get it. Uh, sorry, it's out of sync, I'm guessing, but now it's fixed. Uh, Q intro cats, treats, nips, and host. Yes, we have a uh, catnip trigger as well now. So these cats can get catnip. The little guy doesn't like catnip, though, yet. So that's good. We don't he's, want him. he's too young. He's too, too young, for, that young for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games, some brand new Atari 8-bit games. And we have one of the developers in the house. We're going to be playing Commando by Janusz Szabowski. I think I mangled that last name. Uh, Dungeoneer by Jason Graves, uh, who's Godlike Mouse, who is right there in the chat. As you can see. And we're going to be playing Scorched by Pavel uh, Kalinowski, um, which is a port of Scorched Earth. Do you remember that mm -hmm. game? There yep. you go. Very, very good game. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show, who are scrolling gently beside Darcy while he eats his apples. Uh, <laughs> and I choke. 8 Bit Swami, Al Nefer, Arkham H7, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, BR, Pocock, Buck Owens, Charles and Chuck, Charles Wheel and Chai 5, Dianoid, Dan, FC, Drexel, him. Dr. Moo Cows, Emmy Dan Fox, Mulder, Great Offender, Ground Troop, Roja Rapper, Johnny W. C. Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kevin Buffalo, Dolan, TDZ, Mark Ayanis, Mark Spacing, Military, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MP Smith, Mr. John Wu, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Packard, VG Koa, Garcy 70, Render, Ghost Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spartan, Spice, Warrior, Estimers, D Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan, Dan K, Tifos, and X, Ken X. Do you want some apple? Does he want some apple? No, I tried no. and he just, he was like, no. He sniffed it. No. You want to sniff in your hand. Anti vegetarian. That's right. But like most cats. Yeah. 100% um, of cats. RC70, are last time, yeah. last week when I wasn't here, yeah. I was like trying to get, because uh, I was close on the points. <laughs> I was trying to get enough points to do the treat time, but mm. I didn't quite get there. Do you get points for talking or just sitting there? You, you probably get, get points for both. Okay. And I think, I think what happens, and yeah. I'm sure you guys know, is that a thing will pop up on the screen, and if you click it, you get bonus points. What? Mm -hmm. What thing? <laughs> like you have to... A little, a little treasure box chest thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, so RC70 says short four bytes for treat time. I don't know if just that's got how it works. Fourteen but... more. So. Yeah. So actually, talking... mine said sixty because we get Canadian points, and they're not worth <laughs> as much as European points. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Um, I have a poll question. It's a bit of a weird poll question, um, but bear with me. It's about pronunciation of words, so don't say the word out loud, okay? Because that will skew the results, and they'll be like thinking about how they say it. Okay. So as soon as you see this word, say it out loud to yourself. Um, we want to know how you say it. How you pronounce it. There is it. no right way. No. Except there is. There is. But it's our way. Or <laughs> it's your way. Or your yeah. way. Or your wherever way. you are. <laughs> okay. How do you pronounce E-X-P-E-R-I-M-E-N-T? Now, say it I'm out glad loud. you said it because I want to say it out loud <laughs> in say. the wrong way that I keep hearing people <laughs> say it. It's so funny every time I hear them say it. And I'm trying to figure... Like, I only hear the way that I don't say it very seldomly, and I think it's really weird. And I don't know where it comes from or what part of the world it comes from. Uh, in German. <laughs> uh, I don't have an answer for the German one, but I am going to put one. I think everybody said it out loud now. Okay. I say it every, e experiment. Ex every, every time I he hear experiment, I think like, <laughs> are you talking about the gum? Like, That's what? What I <laughs> I'm going to spear you. Experiment. It's pretty funny. <laughs> B.R. Pocock says experiment. 
Experiment? Experiment? Experiment. Oh, there is another way. Yeah. Experiment. Or experiment. That's not the that's not the option. It's either spear or spare. Oh, RC70 doesn't know. You you heard us say it and you didn't say it out loud, did you? That's we the said problem. both though. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But we say or I I'm assuming Darcy that's an says accent thing. experiment. When you hear but nobody's, uh, I, unless it's a special, like in this case, because it, because it's spearmint, I hear spearmint, <laughs> so I notice it. But yeah, you don't hear the subtle way that different people say things, even when they say it different than you. You don't always notice. No, right? It's just you're you're understand you're translating what they're saying, and at a certain point, you, it's just normal, right? Yeah. RC70, what part of the country are you from? You don't need to say a city, but... Are uh, you going to have some more apple? I have to talk. Oh, I know. sad. I don't. It's very good apple. But as very you saw crunchy. earlier, eating an apple won't stop me from talking. <laughs> I'm not more. <laughs> New York. It's because I was trying to figure out where it's from. and um, I know the angry video game nerd says experiment, but he says a lot of words very strangely. And he is from the... Upper East, Northeast area of uh, there's a, there's the another US. One. There's another one where like there's no T's. They don't use T's at the ends of words. Where oh, give me an example ends, of words. and T's. I, I don't can't remember. Right <laughs> okay. Buffalo Ditton. Not City. Didn't. 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 No T. No hard T at the end. That's like the like you hear lots of N and no T. And I think yeah. it's West Coast. Yeah in the u.s but i'm not sure yeah and then there's um like british leaving the r's off and then adding them somewhere else um like tarnia for tanya it's very funny um okay so we have some mail no mail because i didn't check it but we have some news uh the first one uh you mean pronouncing like martin as marin martin 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 yeah that would work yes Maybe because you gain experience from experiments. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I thought this upcoming game was pretty cool. Um, there we go. Oh, actually, it's a YouTube video. Hmm. So you know the, go full the screen. Was it the Psy Channel? Yeah. The Psy Show or Psy Show? Yeah. I hear a lot of. Experiments, experiments, <laughs> experiments on there, and a well, they, lot. Well, they and they're talking about experiments all the time. Experiments here, experiments there. Because they have to say it a lot mm -hmm. because it's all about science. So they're most likely they most like, likely to hear it. There. It's not just slipping out. They're like enunciating experiments. <laughs> like they're saying it slow and like paced and oh. like this is the correct way to say. It. <laughs> funny. I, this. I think it's funny. Well, yeah. Maybe I'm the dum dum. <laughs> maybe we're all saying it wrong. I mean, I'm definitely they're the dum dum, the right but maybe I'm the dum dum about this. Maybe it's hard to know. Yeah. Who's to say we're right? Maybe we're both right. Uh, this is a point-and-click adventure game for the Atari 8-bit system. Um, it is called On Escape. And it's not playable yet, but it looked really cool. And I'm not... It's probably what not too from? many homebrews. Um, Atari 8-bit. Uh, it's YouTube. Oh, so Somebody that's just the, posted like it recently. the 56K? Uh, that is uh, the computer. And it's like the 56K. Uh, that's the 7800. Oh, but it's like the 56K. <laughs> what is 56K? They can't see what I'm pointing. Uh, sorry, oh. not 56K. What, what is this? Atari? 7800? Uh -huh. 2600? 5200. 5200. 5200, yes. Yeah. Not the modem. I said the wrong word. <laughs> 5600 modem. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, I haven't been playing Atari 8 bit games. Uh, very long on the show, and hence not very long at all. But uh, I used to play point-and-click adventures on the mm -hmm. Commodore 64 a lot. I think um, we're point-and-click. Hmm? They were text-based mostly on the on the Commodore. Uh, they were mostly text-based, yeah. but I'm thinking of like uh, Maniac Mansion. But that was on the PC. That was on and clones. PC. I never but played I did, it. On I the... played it on the Commodore 64. Ah, yeah. okay. It had great music. Fall of 2022. Uh, the with the joystick, yeah. yeah. Slow moving, constant accelerated joystick, yeah. Um, <laughs> which which was not bad because it was very fast and also very very precise. Uh, looked very very cool. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to play that. Uh, made by Poison. 
Oh. Uh, on the Atari Age forum, he posted I'm a couple days ago. Hello, me and my friends are working on the new big one megabit cart modern adventure game for the 8-bit Atari 64 kilobits stereo. Uh, there are more than 50 screens by PG and more than 30 minutes of adaptive soundtrack and great post-apocalyptic story by Poison. Great code by Fandle. That's funny. He's Poison. And he says, great post-apocalyptic story by Poison himself. <laughs> it's always funny when you have to write about yourself and praise yourself. Like, you write books. Have you ever had to write the awesome new story by Darcy? Did you have to do that? <laughs> no, my wife has to do that. She's the one that has to tell the lies. That's much easier. <laughs> Somebody else tells lies about you by saying how great you are. Uh, Atari did used to play with this box, but this little cat has taken over completely the whole house. And he's aged like five years in the oh, past Also, Atari week. didn't play with it anywhere near as much, right? No, no. This guy is obsessed with this pinball machine. Um, so, the next story... <laughs> is uh, actually uh, very meta. Yum, 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 yum. <gasps> it's treat time. What is this? Is, um, treat time for cats? Who redeemed that? RC7E. There you go. Does Sprite know what the you noise means yet? Uh, he gets excited. I don't think he knows what the noise means. He knows what he... Oh, nice. Oh, he's he very about. smart. You gotta ring the bell. If you don't ring the bell, then we just all stand here feeling foolish. Oh, 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 two. One for you and one for you. Oh, I gotta switch to the big, big cat cam. There you go. Um, I can't help but notice that. Um, oh, that's a lot of tricks. But there's double cats. There's double cats, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't help but notice that uh, Sprite has taken over the role of Atari of eating the other cat's food. Yes, he. that is funny. He dives in mm -hmm. and attacks the food. You can hit that bell even though there's a... Here we go. That's not very loud. <laughs> but. And because Sprite is just gets free food, I don't think he'll ever learn to ring the bell. Why would you when you get free food? He's too pretty to, to have to <laughs> learn anything. Oh, but I mean, like that's Pixel. true of Atari too. So. Yeah. It's like Pixel. I'm too dainty and perfect to... Oh, he's playing pinball in between. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a little kitten. He's, he's like too bored. I have to be stimulated at all times. I'm bored. Um, so uh, the next thing is I got interviewed by Retro Brew House podcast. Um, so thank you to Matt uh, Heffernan from uh, Slithy Games for the live interview on my last show. So what he was, he was in the chat and... Ring that bell. Oh, that's off screen. That's off okay. screen. Over here. <laughs> Ring the bell over here. <laughs> yeah. Sprite... Just kind of interrupts oh, everything that okay Atari the... does. Can you ring it there? Ring it. There, there we go. That was a good strong one. Atari rang it twice to get two treats, one for each. Oh, yep. Make sure it's on camera. Make sure RC70 is getting all 5,000 points worth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault that Atari ran away with his snack. No. It's he... not my fault he's smart enough to know and learn that this he... creature will steal his snack. He, he will and has. <laughs> He's very smart that way. I think you gave him too many treats. We're gonna have to switch away. Switch away, switch away. Okay. Um, yeah, I was uh, interviewed last episode on the re for the Retro Brewhouse podcast by Matt uh, Heffernan. He came in the chat and asked me some questions and he wanted like a live interview on that uh, immediately. Oh, thanks for correcting the treat time, by the way. Oh, you're very welcome. He was talking about, because I added in, you had to make a comment to oh, do treat time. Oh, I see. So people were confused about why it wasn't working immediately, but you had to type in a little box, but it wasn't really apparent you had to type in a box. So I just turned off the box. Who cares what people can just chat and say stuff. Um, so let's take a look a little bit at their intro about me 
why the 2600? Why is it this platform uh, above all the others? Uh, why is this the one that gets the most attention, the most work done for it? And uh, I think uh, a good person to explain that uh, might be the uh, guy that runs a Twitch channel. His name is James O'Brien, and his channel is named Zero Page Home. And uh, I had the opportunity to ask him uh, ask a him couple questions, couple questions. Uh, and he answered yeah, me live on his stream about why did this happen, this happen? And, 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 and what's the deal? So the question from so Retro House, House is Echo. basically is why do you think... Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're listening to it too. Um, echo, echo, echo. Anyway, you can watch that later um because i did it live on the stream so people watching the last stream will have already seen it but uh thank you to matt heffernan because we have to hear it too like coming through the speakers um mm -hmm. so there's going to be the thing you hear and then you hear it through this microphone again and i would have to mute the microphone i wish i had like a a quick key to mute the microphone i should set that up on the keyboard because that would be super handy just that one key, because you can set up OBS mm -hmm. to have tons of shortcuts, but yep. I'm not going to memorize those or put them on a piece of paper. Maybe I should just do the microphone mute. That would mm -hmm. be a really good one. Yep. So I will do that. I think you can memorize time. one hotkey. Yes. I'll just like make it Alt M or make something. Make it the least popular key, <laughs> and then it can get some love. See, all my keys are worn down. Let's say A. A is the most worn, so not A. <laughs> Z, the opposite of A. Uh, Steam Deck does that well, yeah. Steam Deck's expensive, and I wouldn't use all those be uh, buttons anyway. Um, and also, a show, um, uh, Retro Dad, did a review on ZPH the game. Ah. Um, so we won't listen to it. Actually, we'll so we'll just show it on the screen there. Turn up a little bit. So he runs through the history uh, history of the game, um, and then the fun part is that he plays it with his kid. Oh, did I just get hit? Did I yeah. just get hit? Yeah. Oh my stupid balls! <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, if you just hide in that corner, yeah. I got an idea. I'm coming up at the top here and down. Yeah, see. Uh, so he has lots of fun playing with his kid, and 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 his uh, his kid loves the game. <laughs> so I'm really really happy about that. He had a lot his of TV fun. TV has bunny ears. It does. Rabbit ears. Very unusual ones. Mm -hmm. Like like a little. Uh... Like the last iteration of rabbit ears. <laughs> yes. I think those are. Uh, well, they're still good for yeah, HD. Pull, I think you can pull them out. Oh yes yes yes. And I, this looks like it. I I think he says it's in his garage. But oh, angry cat. I don't know if everybody heard that. Um, Atari's getting pretty fed up with Sprite today. Not me. Sprite follows him around everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a ZPH, the game made by uh, Leandro Camera. So it's downloadable in the Atari Age forums right now, if you want to play it. All four of us played, uh, including Erlen. I forgot to grab mine. Uh, I yeah, I was going to make a manual. And give it to you. You can have yours now. Yeah. And then I'll we'll give you the manual withhold. separately. <laughs> Which number did you have? You had number two, right? I think you had number two. Can you remember? Yeah, number two. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, I think it's number two. That's number one. It's number ten. Nine. Oh no. It's gonna be the last one. Nope, oh, there you go. So there's Darcy's copy. Of ZPH the game. He didn't show it. There you go. ZPH the game. Signed by all four people. We gave away four copies of it. Um, I still have one more copy to give away. I'll probably give it away at PRGE while we're there in Portland. Um, but I'll have to figure out a cool way to give it away. Um, the adventure picture is awesome. Oh, yes, the duck. <laughs> duck on the wall. Um, so if you want to see. Uh, that, actually I'm going to post all these links. There's the video for um, Retro Dad. And there is the podcast. 
uh, link as well, and you can watch those. They're both great to watch. Um, so we're going to get into our first game, which is Commando. Do you remember playing this game on the Commodore 64? Yep. Yep. So this is actually a port of the Commodore 64 version of the game, but it was originally a uh, arcade game, which mm -hmm. I didn't know at the time because I'd never seen it in the arcade. I um, did, actually. Did you? Yeah, I played it in the arcade. Oh. Poorly. <laughs> I played it poorly in the arcade. So here's the arcade version. And by the arcade, I mean the water slides in Langley. <laughs> Remember those? <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They're like right like in the middle indoor, of Langley. Right in the middle of Langley. There at was a, a tower that went up. There were two tubes mall. coming off of it. At a in strip a strip mall. mall. <laughs> and just like the tiniest little pool at the bottom for you to land in, you just went up and did sliding. Yeah, it, it was, was pretty, super popular, too. But for it was a while, the yeah. smallest pool you could imagine. The smallest. Like... Think about like a normal strip mall and cramming water slides into a strip, strip mall. mall. Not mall. <laughs> strip, strip mall. mall. Yeah. It was very, very strange. Um, Super bizarre. So the the game that we're going to play is going to be on the Atari 8-bit system uh, by Yanish Yabowski, uh, Shanty77, who makes a lot of great games, Bosconian, uh, Gakek, uh, Highway Encounter, Last Squadron. Um, so this is the arcade version. It was released as Senjo no Aokami, a Wolf of the Battlefield, a vertical scrolling run and gun shooter released by Capcom in the arcades in 1985. Uh, let's see, it is unrelated to the 1985 film of the same name, <laughs> which was released six months after the game. So unrelated, and this came out first before the, the movie, which is, I mean, really not unheard of that a game would come out before a movie if they are a tie-in. Because it yeah, can yeah. be used to promote the movie. Yeah, or... It takes time to make the movie, and if they're oh, integrated, yeah. then yeah. Uh, versions released for various home computers and video game consoles. Uh, Commando was a critical and commercial success, becoming one of the highest grossing arcade video games in 1985, and the, one of the best selling home video games in 1986. It was also highly influential, spawning numerous clones following its release. Where are we playing this? Is, like, is it the computer doing it? Because like, they're dodging bullets that are like... Uh... Some would have been dead so many times. This could be a either they turned off bullet hits. No, no. I'm talking about dodging them. I'm not oh. talking about how it, close. I'm talking about how like like that <laughs> like oh, weaving yeah. in and out of bullets. It could be a tool assisted speed run or tool assisted gameplay. Well they are not stopping. They are going forward at all times. So mm -hmm. it would be like it's just a playthrough. It doesn't say uh, speed run. And doesn't say tool assisted either, but a lot of these are where like if they die they just reverse it and then and then stitch it together. Oh I see. afterwards. Um It doesn't yeah. even matter if they die sometimes when I what like when they get up here they'll just be like in the mix of a meteor storm <laughs> look at the, in a meteor storm of bullets, just uh -huh. like ah, well, you know, like, oh there's some bullets, I'll just go this way, oh that way, oh yeah. Uh yeah, this this guy's either yeah. They could just be really good. Right no, there is the sort of thing. Yeah, that's, like, wow. That's like, that bullet just appeared, and he dodged it immediately. <laughs> yeah, look how close. Um, so this game was also made on... Yeah, it might be just like a... Oh. On the Atari 2600 as well. Amazingly. Uh, and they did a really good uh, job of it, actually. Huh. Like, the player and the enemies look really good. The palm yeah, yeah. trees look good. Mm -hmm. Um... Music's decent. Um, yeah, the, like for the 2600, this is actually an excellent, excellent game. Um, so this is most notably known for its music on the Commodore 64. Um, and so let's switch over to that, the Commodore 64 version, because this is... The, the Commodore 64 is the version that this game that we're going to play is based on. Is based on not the arcade. It's actually mm -hmm. based on uh, the C64 version because the programmer had the source code mm. for the game from the Commodore 64 version. Um, and uh, the music is done by Rob Hubbard, who is a Sid God. He is one of the best. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, so, a little bit about the music from the Commodore 64 version. The Commodore 64 port's theme, a more complex and extended version of the arcade music, was created in less than 12 hours by Rob Hubbard. <laughs> I started working on it late at night and worked on it through the night. I took one listen to the arcade version and started working on the C64 version. By the time everyone arrived at 8 in the morning, I had loaded the main tune on every C64 in the building. I got my check and was on the train and home by 10. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. And it's one of the, it's one of the best. best songs on the Commodore best 64. Known, yeah. done, in, done in 12 hours. That looks better than most games I bought back in the day for the 2600. It was a very late release on the 2600, so people knew all the tricks and knew how to push the limits of the 2600 by then in 1985-6. Yeah. Um, but it, I played this a lot on the Commodore 64. It's, it's a super, super fun game, mostly for the music. <laughs> but it's a great uh, run-and-gun shooter, which, which I do like this genre. Um, but there was actually an Atari 8-bit version planned for the Atari, um, but it never got released. And but it was, was it was finished, but or it was not finished. finished. I believe 100% finished. Huh. Um, and it was discovered in the 2000s. A oh no, it wasn't finished. A prototype <laughs> was found, and I think they maybe did some cleanup. I didn't dig too far into it. Um, <laughs> So let me just rewind it a bit. Let's go back to the beginning. Very cheesy cartoon like uh, um, title screen there. Good helicopter. Bit chunky, <laughs> but a good helicopter. And they have long bullets, long bullets. Um, the Atari 8-bit version was created by Sculptured Software in 1989, so it was quite a bit after, and was ex intended to be released by Atari Corporation for the XE game system, so the XEGS. However, although the game appeared in Atari catalogs at the time, it never reached the market in spite of being completed. Uh, in the 2000s, the game prototype cartridge was found. Uh, yeah, it was an official 2600 game. I don't know if I have it on cartridge. Because it's a late release, so it's a little bit more rare, the later releases for 2600, because not as many people bought them. So, it's time to play it. Are those snakes on the ground? <laughs> they look like he doesn't step inanimate. On them. Oh, he's going around them. Mm. Maybe they don't move, but they are deadly. It's a very different game. Like... I guess you get different weapons. Has the music. That's, yeah, and not bad rendition of the music. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's hard to come down. It is. Shh, don't say that around here. They'll kill you. That's why I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Petered off with that statement. Yeah, I, I like the SID chip, and um, most people acknowledge that the SID is, is a very, very, very good chip. I gr we grew up with it, so we have a bit of a bias <laughs> for the SID chip. Um, I just like the tone of it. New in box on eBay for 50. Oh, the 2600? That's not, that's not bad, actually. For a sealed and new in box. So, yeah, uh, a loose cartridge wouldn't be that much for Commando. Okay, so it's time to play it. Enough uh, dilly-dallying, right? <laughs> so I'll give it to Darcy first so I can rattle on some more. Here, have, have this super heavy jo joystick, and we're going to be playing it on the emulator. Which button is my button? Uh, that one. Because uh, it is, it uses the uh, VBXE enhancement for the Atari computer, which I do not have, ah. but I really want. And it's also a PAL game, but it does work in NTSC, so it's not a big deal. Okay. So let's get it going. Uh, Altira. Boom. Hi. Ready? Don't press it yet. So, because it's a port and it's made from the source code, it is pretty much exactly 
the Commodore 64 mm. version. Wow. Down yeah. to the music. Like slightly different from the C64, but if I wasn't told, I'd be like, yeah, that's that's the C64 SID chip playing it. It's even in television release of the game. Not bad, but it's not as good as the 7800. Um, yeah, the 7800 is a good one, and it also includes the Pokey chip in the 7800. It's one of two games, Ball Blazer and Commando. But Ball Blazer is a lot cheaper, <laughs> so people destroyed the um, Ball Blazer version of the game to get the Pokey chip out. <laughs> Okay, pot fire to start. So you got five men, and f so to, um, nah. to to do the grenade, you nah. hold down the button. Um, just to fire, you press the button. And there's a grenade. So you have to press it over and over again to fire your weapon. Throwing grenades at nothing. Um, so sh this I'm was always amused when when can you punch these people? <laughs> uh, I I believe you can in some versions because you get a knife. Oh, but not this version, I don't think. Oh, I think you punched him. No, I shot him. I, I wouldn't advise... Oh, you got stuck on the rock. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the rock. Too bad the 2600 Ball Blazer homebrew never got completed. I agree 100%. It is that close to being done. And it's already very, very, very good. As it is. Um, stuck on a bridge. Yeah, go to the side. Oh, did you die? Yeah, stick to the right-hand side of the bridge when you go under it. Because the guy only shoots straight. So Shanty posted on um, Tuesday. Oh, let me see. This was originally posted May 6th. And this build bullets. is... I mean, I'm not dodging bullets, sorry. <laughs> well, you are. Uh, this build is from uh, June 7th. So he originally posted, how does the game conversion from C64 to Atari using VBXE, and I'll get into VBXE in a second, ah. look like? The author has little knowledge of the C64 architecture, he's talking about himself, um, but he's learning. When I found the described source code for the game on the C64, I thought it would be a pity not to use it. By the way, you can learn a bit of C64 architecture and VBXE handling. Uh, and he says, basically, it's a C64 graphics emulation using VBXE. In the code, I only make corrections for graphics, music, and controls. Of course, you could redraw the sprites and boards here, but then you would have to make a significant changes to the code. They're very generous with the number of uh, plays. Yeah, five five lives. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it's it's got eight levels. So you're only on level one. But you're at the end oh, of yeah, level one. Oh, yeah, but I one. suck. And you're <laughs> I'm just saying that I, I, But it is good they give you five lives. It is not... Yeah, there is grenades. He, you hold down the button for grenades. Just like in the Commodore 64 version. <gasps> it's a long name. Long name. Uh, you can improve the shapes of the sprites quickly because they are written in high res anyway. I was able to add... Number one! I'm the best! Burn the game! <laughs> Quick, turn it off! <laughs> keep talking. Keep uh, playing. I'll keep talking. Um, I was able to add sprite masking behind trees and under a bridge. Um, so, a little bit about the VBXE, which is basically uh, an upgraded video card for your Atari computer, which I do not have, but I do want to get. Um, because... They um, don't kill each other with their grenades. Their grenades don't hurt them. They're special grenades. They have... They have uh, their bio imprints? Yes. They're, they're, they're biological grenades, of which you're vulnerable to. No, I was dead. I wasn't stuck on a tree. I was stuck in um, the, regu the, uh, the uh, rigors of mortar. So VBXE mortar. stands for Video Board XE. It's an add-on board for your Atari 8-bit. Um, so the, it described in the Brewing Academy's website, this add-on board is a piggyback chip in the antic socket of the Atari computer. It will work in any XE. Uh, 130XE, 65XE, 800XE, and XEGS. Atari computer and will provide RGB video out for whatever machine you install it in. Um, from when uh, VBXE? Uh, 2005 VBXE, VBXE started. So it has R RGB out as well, which, uh, which is a great bonus. Just an update, they can stab you. <laughs> oh, they can? <laughs> you can't stab so them, they, but they can stab you. I think you can stab them. Oh. 
I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell whether you shoot them or stab them. Maybe they know where the stab button is, and I don't. That could be the difference. You have a, a, a little hole in your armor, and they go, oh, stabby stab. And they have better armor. Ah. Oh, you ran right <clears> into the bullet. Thank you for your terrible commentary. <laughs> Thank you for being so supportive. Yeah, no problem. See, if you avoid their bullets, you'll last longer in the game. <laughs> that sounds like it's a pro tip. Sounds like the sort of <laughs> advice I. Oh, would give. good shot! That was smart. <laughs> it, I think you it, took it, like five guys out in one shot there. <laughs> the best part is it was intentional. <laughs> um, on Lotharax website, it's described as VBXE project was started in 2005 by Thomas Apurek from Electron TQA. And the first public announcement was made in March of 2006. Um, some info on the device. RGB output providing crisp, clear project uh, ah. picture using our LCD or RGB monitor. It, up to 1,024 colors on the screen from a 21-bit palette. Graphics resolution up to 640 by 40i or 640 by 240p in 64 colors. 320 by 240p in 1,024 colors. And 160 by 240p in 1,024 ah. colors. So oh, you get men increases pretty your... generously, I think. Because oh, I... did you get an extra one? I swear I got two. I swear I was down you to one. You're doing better. So no, maybe at 30,000. I mean, I'm in the same spot. I'm doing slightly better for points. Here. Yes. So you're doing better. But the goal ah. is definitely to get to the second level. Um, oh. I'll quickly switch back to the poll because it's over before it disappears today. So 80% of people say experiment and 20% of people say experiment. Weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> um, true 80 character mode for text display. Blitter with seven modes of operation capable of zooming display data, transparency, collision detection, many other features. I'll play. Full downward compatibility with GTA chip and many, many more. So it is an awesome video card upgrade, but there's only a few games. Uh, Gakek, um, Commando, and a couple other ones. And Shanty is kind of leading the way on that. Get used to this joystick. Me too, that was my problem. It's very different than, than the other. It's very smooth or something, I don't know. Ah felt loose to me. Yeah, it's very, very wobbly. Like loosey goosey. Uh, ah, see? Yeah, it's very loose. I think loose. it's the joystick, because... Because you oh died there. Oh my the guy's here. No, you get caught there. Uh, that's why I go around. I, I like that they're bulletproof from your own bullets. No friendly fire. I, and I mean, they don't have friendly fire, too. Mm -hmm. uh, against each other, so... It's only fair. Um, I can't profess to say I'm good at the game, <laughs> so I am going to die a lot. But I still find it very fun. Well, that's a good question, a good poll topic. Um, but I'll just ask it now because I'll probably forget. What was um, does how good you are at a game dictate how much fun you have at a game? You want to like who you are. Yeah, and depends on the game, too. But, oh! Uh, I know I do have fun with games I am good at, and I, I know it strongly correlates to that, but I can definitely have fun with games that I'm not good at, too. Depends on the game. Sometimes literally playing the game is fun, and sometimes the enjoyment comes from winning. Yes. <laughs> but you can also be too good at a game, and then it's not fun. Oh, come on! No! Because then it's boring, because you're too good at it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no! No, no, no! Boom. Take you out. One strategy is to stand to the side a bit, and then just... No! Die. <laughs> it's not a good strategy. This is a tactical game, not a strategic game. <laughs> However, you were describing tactics, so that's fine. Oh, okay, good. But you do have to still dodge the bullets. But as long as you can, like, make a 
row of bullets. And then dodge. Yay! Level two! Why is everyone bare feet in this game? <laughs> 2,600 hours in Rocket League this week, and I still suck really bad. <laughs> Godlike Mouse says sometimes. Oh my god. Ah! No, don't run me over! Oh no! No! So many bullets! Did you notice where Atari's hiding? No. Oh, that's, that's a good spot. Oh, what? I fell in the hole immediately. Oh my god. Level 2 is bad. He's blaming level 2 for his boss. Yep. I beat you. Uh, I beat you! <laughs> I beat you! Wow, such bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's going right through them. Look at that. What? Bug. I was shooting, like, in a bunch of four guys, and it was going through all of them. Like, they were just, like, hovering around my spray of bullets. And it was literally going through them. It wasn't, like, hitting something before it got to them. It was going through them. You! Stop it. No! So those boxes uh, of ammo, that's your grenades? Yeah. Yeah. They're, the game is very generous with grenades. I well, mean, if you don't use them. Probably because you don't use them. <laughs> it's that's it's hard to use them. If you had a second button... That would be a... I would then, probably use, then it you'd more. use them more. I would use them all the time. I'd just be spamming it until they were gone. Because... Or, at a certain point, I'd get used to, like, chucking them at people that are in static positions like that. It's because you have to stop firing your weapon. But the grenade... The grenades are hard... It's... It's hard to find a spot where it's worth it to stop shooting long enough for your grenade to launch. Yes. And oh, those are the It could be guys. worth it for the people behind those san um, sandbags or in trenches or whatever. It's, yes, those are the usually... Or when the, the people come out the door. Those are usually the times... Because you, you know where they're coming out. And where you want to use them. them. Eat them! Don't! Eat them, Atari! Arr! Also, your uh, grenades carry over from life to life. So, that's why... You have 26 grenades? That's why you can rack So them. you can grab that ammo and go above... I thought... I thought... I was, like, leaving the ammo because I thought... <sighs> that was close. Uh, you're leaving the ammo? No, no, You have no. 26 grenades. Yep. I didn't know that you could just stack them in uh, your... Uh, your <laughs> Your bag of, of grenade holding. What is that thing? Uh, a tank? mini tank? I don't or know. It's got a. It's got a. It's it's got a weapon mounted Motorcycle. on it. You die. Wait, this is the frog. Oh, level. he didn't die. It is. Oh my if god! They duck Look, down, I didn't even... If they duck down, you're not going to hit them because that's the point of a trench. Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. But I fell in a non-trench. Like I just Where? fell in the dirt. Last last life, I was just like. But the good thing is they do duck down, and then stop shooting. They stop shooting, and they're effective, ineffective. And these guys can only fire forward, so they suck. And that guy is protected in the water from. Oh my god! I'm very close to getting to where I can normally only get to. I think I. Oh, your grenades only go forward. Yes. Not to the side, even but that's if you're not. Going to... That's it's it's a it's not a bug or a limitation. It's like it's as much. Look at that guy in the corner. It's, it's as much a value as it is a limitation because it means that you can fire. You can, can you know it's going to go forward every time, no matter where the joystick is. Yes, that's true. And there's value you, in that. Uh, you don't have to face yeah. forward to make it go forward, which which is very handy. But it's also bad because if you want to get somebody that's not forward, you're not going to be able to do it. Yeah, I, I think you're just looking at it with um, what's the opposite of uh, rose-shifted glasses? <laughs> uh, Poops blinders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, just barely made it again. I killed the guy and a bullet went through me. Wow, I made it to the third. Yes, we're playing on Atari 8-bit system today. Um, sometimes we play on the 2600 and the 7800. Atari Jaguar, mostly Atari. Yeah, I was confused <laughs> when you said that it was a port. I was like, uh, okay, but what does that mean? Because I kept <laughs> thinking you were talking about the 2600 for some reason. Okay. No, not today. Not today. Oh, empty. There they come. Don't, 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 don't. I've never made it this level. On the C64 version. Mm. 
I think it's the joystick, because I had an okay joystick back then, but not like an arcade joystick. Yeah. I had that ball top joystick, which was pretty good. The fact that you're qualifying it tells us how good it was. <laughs> no, it was a decent joystick, but it's not an arcade joystick. Don't stab me. Don't. Oh, my God. They're jumping out of the vehicle. And I can't seem to shoot them. Oh. And I can't shoot. Oh, that's it for me. That was uh, uh, my best game of this ever. There we go. I only got barely more points than the last time. <laughs> Very strange. Well, it's not that strange because you did a lot of running past stuff and not shooting it. That's probably the trick. And you get points for killing stuff, not for... S spent all our money on walls that we couldn't afford shoes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Trucks can't be... I think they're 100% of them are shot. It's just your bullets go right through them and it doesn't do anything because they're trucks. Because, yeah, it just goes right through. <laughs> yeah. I think you can grenade them. Oh, that would be fun. Yes. So, I mean, if you like the C64 version, you'll, you'll love like this it. version. Mm -hmm. The music is perfect. The graphics are perfect. He's done a great job of porting it over. Uh, I mean, he says he is emulating like the video from the C64 using VBXE, which is a very powerful video processor add-on for the Atari. So he didn't, he said, he implies that he didn't have to change much because they both use da, 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 MOS 6502. So it's not that far of a stretch. They would have the similar uh, commands. Yeah, yeah. He didn't say what language it was originally in. I'm guessing assembly, but it could have been a different language. Um, so, lots of fun. And we're going to go on to our next game, which we can play on the real system. All right. Because that does not have a Via BXE at the moment, but I will get one uh, put in one of my uh, Atari computers. In one of them? Yes. So a stealth frag. Used to play Commando on the Amstrad 6128. Very good. Okay. We're going to move on to the next game which is Dungeoneer. 2022 work in progress by Jason Graves, Godlike Mouse, who's in the chat. So you can answer any of your questions you have about the game. It was first posted May 26th, and this build is from May 29th. It's a 28K game. I uh, didn't search too hard for any other games he's made, but he has made Dungeoneer. You can download in the Atari Age forums, just like the last game. Um, so let's power it up and get it going. There he is, he said hi there. Switch over, switch over the game as well. Here we go. So let's load it up. Dungeoneer. Somebody posted that one. It's significantly smaller, so I'm not going to play that one. I'm not sure what that one is. So Dungeoneer. I think I have to turn up. The audio quite a bit, a little bit quiet. And the uh, output from my uh, Atari is very quiet too for some reason. Okay, Dungeoneer. Let me read about it. Hi everyone. I used to program on the Atari com on Atari computers when I was a kid. Um, so go to credits. Um, <laughs> I like the little icon. <laughs> He's cute. He is very uh, credits. Cute. Okay. Uh, developed by Godlike Mouse, Jason Graves, uh, and you can download it and look at the code on GitHub. Um, I used BASIC back in the day, but of course I found it very limited. Recently I wanted to revisit the Atari and decided to learn 6502 Assembler. So, get the keys, avoid, avoid death. death, very pro tip, collect cash, Woo! Woo! escape, Woo! escape with the cash, go for it, beware the spider. Very cute. Oh, Godlike Mouse says this is his first game. Never programmed in 6502 before. So there you go. He's done a very good job. Uh, to help learn, I decided to build a game. I'd like to share it with everyone here and see what you think. I've attached the game to this post. Uh, you can all find the source code here as well if you're interested in how it was done. As you play, keep your eye out for secrets. 
Level two! I avoided the spider. Avoid the spider, get the key, escape! So it's got electric walls flashing now. Very nice graphics with the um, kind of pseudo, pseudo 3D kind of effect, 45 degree ah. angle, isometric. Ah. Oh, your head got zapped. The key teleported back. Oh no, the, the spider took it back when you weren't looking. It's one of those creatures that can carry gold and key, uh, keys on them. You know, like in RPGs where you kill like a wolf and for some reason it has 50 gold on it. It's like, what? One, where was it carrying it? Two, in why, its butt, obviously. Why, why does a wolf want or need gold? It doesn't want gold. It ate, <laughs> it ate an adventurer nom, 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 nom. and just like ate everything. Oh, murdered by stuff. Murdered by the stuff. Yeah, it's, it's one of those games where you have to be very precise in your movement. And I find it a little bit easier with a joystick than the keyboard, this one. There you go. Bye-bye. Uh, and he said, thank you everyone for try uh, taking the time to try out my game and provide feedback. I'm humbled by the comments, suggestions, and code reviews given here. I plan on adding more levels. There's, ah! there's six levels in this game. Great skull. I love the skull. Stingy. I don't like it as much as you 2. do. 2.5Ds. <laughs> the skull? Yeah. yeah it had no impact on you because you sadness. it didn't mean anything to you apart from how <laughs> cool. the art. How cool it was. But for me, it was a significa signif significant. Significant? Significant? signified my death. <laughs> That's one way to put it, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, 2.5D, yeah. Um, I'm adding more levels, and I've begun working on implementing and custom uh, RLE for compressing the map graphics in memory. So far, the compression ratio looks very promising. What does RLE stand for? Do you know? Oh, real-time level editor? Oh. No. Uh, I don't know. Does that make sense? What does RLE stand for? I've seen it before, and it's always associated with... Oh, there we go. Run length encoding. Okay, so it's compression uh, technique. I'm going to look that up, because I want to know about more about run length encoding. It's probably more technical than I can get to in this spot right here. Victory! Level 3. Spikes are, spikes are stinky. Stink as bikes. Uh, is a form of lossless data compression, which is important in things like this. When you're putting pixels on a screen. Oh, you're lucky that spider didn't go up. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't chase you. No. Now, is it a pattern? I think it's random and not patterned. Ah! Oh, he stung your head. I don't need two heads. <laughs> which runs... Uh, of data sequences, which are the same data value occurs in many consecutive data elements or stored as a single data value and count rather than the original run. Well, that's an easy way of encoding things. I did that badly. So the examples it gives are if you have five zeros, it's encoded as zero five. Um, Go away, spider. But how does it know? Oh, it, oh I see. Let me see some other examples. So if you have eight A's, it goes eight A, then B6 for six B's, and then two C, C2 for two C's. It's basically like in English saying four rocks rather than rock, 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 rock. Yeah, so a very simplistic uh, compression algorithm, which seems like it would be very, very fast decompression. Very vast compression, very easy to store to. So yeah, that's that's a good. Uh, ah, my turn. I've said all <laughs> I've said all the things. <laughs> I would flash the electric walls with alternating graphics, something more random. Oh, like that would be cool. The moving um, slime is good. I like that. It's like a yeah. river of slime. He's got little torches too, little candles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the electricity being more uh, random would be cool. Uh, I don't like where you are, spider. There we go. What? 
There must be a name for this type of game where you have to be very precise in your movement. Spikes are stinky. This is the one you couldn't make it past? Or did you make it to level four? No, I didn't get past this one. Okay. Yeah, this one's very tight. The walls are very confined. I did get the key uh, several times, but <laughs> Thrust says they're called precise movement games. <laughs> precise movement. <laughs> very technical name. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. You didn't do any better than me? No, I didn't. It's a sad day. <laughs> <laughs> Sad, sad day. Okay, spider, where are you going? Aha! I love the door opening and you go down the, down the stairs. And the character you have is very, very cute. Yeah. And uh, the key has animation as well. Little flickery key. That's yep. nice. A lot of nice little touches. Little torch on the wall above me there. And the fart noise uh, that happens when you open the door. <laughs> this one's so precise. I knew it! Arr! My hand got caught in a spike. A stinky spike. I think I'm going to do this when I can. You do it to the side of the screen where it's safe. Uh-huh. There's a little bit of leeway where your head is, actually. I don't think the green stuff kills you. What is happening? Da, 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 did you know this before? I did. Well, why didn't you go down here before? Because <laughs> I died trying to go down there. Oh. That's why. We hit spikes? Yeah, I hit the spikes, sadly. Oh, I rushed it. Damn it. Oh, you start there. Oh, did that means you don't you have to get the... Oh, cat. I don't think he likes cables yet, which is good. Or at all, hopefully. Okay, spider. Now... Wait, wait. wait go down. Oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, if you go down through that door, does it remember you have the key? Oh. I don't think so. I think it would remember. Okay. You think it would remember that you have the key if you died? Yeah. Oh, not if you died. No, no, no. Huh. But I'm not going to go through there and die. On purpose. <laughs> not on purpose. You can touch the green. You can touch the green? What? I thought it was deadly slime. Gold bonus level. Bonus. Wow, level. you have so much more gold. <laughs> I think, yeah, because a world, the world at larger. The world at larger. I thought it said the world at lager. <laughs> Could be. Okay, so that's the key. I might as well get that now. So you can touch that green if I die. Godlike mouse. Oh my goodness, godlike mouse. Oh, if can. he dies, then you know what happens? I... He'll press the button and play again. There we go. I will. And I'll be annoyed. <laughs> Mildly annoyed. I, I, your hair was touching the spikes. And you didn't yeah, die. there's a little bit of leeway with the it's just hair. The, it's just the tip. Is it just the tip? Just, just the, the tip. white part that uh, kills you? And that brown oh, part maybe. at the bottom doesn't kill you, maybe? Maybe. What's up here? Gold. I might as well. I, what are those uh, yin and yang? What's like balloons? Yang I can't do anything with them. Push can't them? push them. I don't think the button does anything in this game. Okay. The spider uh, likes gold. Yeah, it's hanging around the gold. Oh, what? Oh, you died. Oh. That's why. And then, uh, how do you feel about that skull now? Uh. I don't mind Mr. It. That's a great skull pants. Hi, little baby cat. How are you? How are you doing? Do you want to cuddle? Are you too hyper? Too hyper. Too ah! hyper. Ah, run away from the spider. James just throwing it at the end there. What? <laughs> yeah. Precise movement games. There must be must be another name for them. Oh, the spider's thwarting your efforts. It's being a dick. And he's saying, follow me. I know where the key is. Follow me. Now that I know you can touch the green. You can touch that green too? 
Oh, you can. Actually, you can't touch it because it won't let you run over it. It's just decoration like walls. That does make levels easier. Sprite! Psst. No, don't go back there. Because I can't make it back there. Oh, what happened? What do you mean? Oh, oh, I thought... Okay, never mind. I thought you were redoing the level, even though you made it. Neo Media, I need an Atari Whoa. 8 bit. So many great games for it. Yes, they're endless games. The Atari. Oh! Mm. <laughs> I Endless games for it. To... And a, a pretty good homebrew scene as well. Um, ah! And really good games. You, I, I think in the... I don't think this spider's ever gone into this area when you were playing. <laughs> no. It's, keeps doing it to me. Uh, Once he goes be... there, it's like... It's hard know, to get by. Just wait. It's not hard. It's like you just don't do it. Yeah, Why very do I have 210 dangerous. points? I don't That seems know. like a buck. Because I swear I had 15 a... points when I did the first time. <laughs> I think so, too. Maybe get points for dying from the spider? <laughs> did you die from a spider? No. I don't know why you have so many points. I'll have to watch how the points go up. Did you get to the gold? No. No? Okay. It's safe here. Let's see how many points you get with the gold. Only five. How did you get so many points? Well, I don't know. You had 195 at one point. Maybe is. Do I you feel get... like it held over your points and gave them to me. <laughs> do you get points for speed, like going through the level fast? Maybe. Oh, mm -hmm. well, you're not getting that key. Unless that spider gets out of there. Oh. And now. No. Actually, it's smart because the spider could just come down and you. Like, like it here. just did. And it would be over. What Atari 8-bit do you suggest? I I like the Atari 800XL. One, ah! because it's small. Two, because it has a top-loading cartridge. <laughs> um, other than that, I don't know. It has a keyboard. It has, well, they all have keyboards. They're, they're computers. As opposed to what? Oh, he's talking about which Atari 8-bit. Oh, I see. Should he get? Um, in terms of like upgradability, I don't know much about that. Like, which ones are easy? Can I restart? No. Nope. Which you, ones you have are... 205 points? I think. I think there's a bug where we're oh. starting with 200 points. Yeah, we gotta watch the score. Cause I didn't watch it this time. Oh my god, my feet touched it. Touched what? Uh, the, the, the little spikies. Oh, there it is. I'm partial to the 130XE since I can play so much without upgrading upgrades. Oh, yeah. The 130, what does it have? Does it have 128? I want to try and get all the gold. Even though we haven't finished the game yet. Or does that 130 has... Oh, 128. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Because you can play a lot more games with the 128 already I like Mouse says you have in. one pixel forgiveness around the player. Okay. So you doesn't, can have a pixel of... It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It feels like negative one pixel. Your hitbox is... Oh, I, don't, oh. oh, I still have one more. Oh, I have to get the key again. <laughs> but not the gold. Okay, spider. Yeah, what I'm going to want to do is upgrade one of my Ataris to have the one megabit memory and also the X, the uh, VBXE installed as well. So I have the best of both worlds, an upgraded video and all the memory, because then I can play all the games that are meant for it. That's two pixel more than on a 2600 mm -hmm. with hardware sprite collision. That's true. Oh my god, that was terrible. You go again. Okay. Now, should I finish the game or should I get the gold? What should I concentrate on? Like doing a full, complete play through? Oh, see, it started at 200 points. Okay, but you had you played a game where it didn't... St you, it yeah, that's less. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It, yeah. it might be a bug because when I first played it, I didn't have 200 some I had. Yeah. 
I think I finished with 30 points. Mm. Well, and then you got bug. the gold, and it seems like... From then on? No, it was when you got to the next level. Because when you got the gold, it gave you more points, but not 200 points. Mm. Oh, godlike mouse admits it is a bug. Hooray, we were helpful! Yay, we did a thing! I actually did a thing. I didn't even notice the score. Okay, is my hand there? I think it is. I have to move over just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna get all the gold. And not die? Well, try not to die. Okay, spider. Oh my god, you move so much when you press the joystick. I know. You move like three pixels. <laughs> At least two pixels. <laughs> Okay. No! Go to the right! No! <laughs> Up. Then roll all the way to the right, and then all the way down. Will be per- oh. Perfect. Quite a few bugs tend to be found in ZPH Twitch streams. Um, yeah, because we tend to play a lot of work-in-progress games. Um, sometimes we play them badly, to the point where we discover things that we're not even supposed to be doing because <laughs> we're not playing them well. No, we we, play, we do a decent job at playing them. Good enough to to, to show it off. Okay, should I go for it? Yeah, or yeah. Should I wait? Oh, oh my! Oh my God! You over you overestimate the danger of the spider and underestimate the danger of the daggery walls. I do. <laughs> I do a lot. Do you own the new Atari VCS? No, I don't see a reason to buy that. It seems just like a computer, like a, a computer of which I already have two of at home with a lot more power and more than enough games to play on them. <laughs> so I don't see a reason to buy it other than it has the Atari name, which doesn't compel me to buy new things from Atari. Ooh, is that good enough? Yes, it is. I'm not gonna buy Atari speaker hat either. Um, or Atari Bitcoin. But yeah, I mean- Get the cash, quick, 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 get da, 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 da. See, I think this is where you got the bonus money. Oh. You brought it up to 195 or something like that. That could be. I haven't seen, it. well, the, I haven't seen a compelling reason See to get See your 195? And you minus 200 from that, 195. And when you uh, left this room, you had 195 the first time. Okay. Yeah. okay. I don't know why, what, I don't that know what sense. relevance that is. But it seemed like after that. that and then be, picking up this key, maybe? It could be. I, I mean, that's going to be maybe helpful for him to figure out where the bug lies. Can I? No. Can I? Yep. Excuse me. Because it just seems like a, a computer. Uh, question is, do you have one? Ooh, can I go up? Nope. There. Can I have to back off and then go back up if you're too close? There we go. No, it's a really good as a console system. I wouldn't buy the Atari hat. No. Uh, as a console system. Hmm. The problem is I see consoles now as computers because they are kind of just computers. Um, so I've well, switched I see over. Where the spider just gave you a clue. Oh, what? <gasps> oh, I didn't even, oh, there's, oh, there's more. There. Ooh, but he's uh, currently monopolizing that area. Run, I didn't even see those. They just blended right in. Thank you, spider. Thank you, Darcy. Um, where did yeah, you come I, in? Uh, through the bottom. I bought. Is that where you're leaving? My last console is a Switch. The key's up there where the spider went in. That's a real key? No, 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 no. That's I the collected, key you have? Okay. I collected that key. Um, I have a Switch, and depending on how cool the new Nintendo console is. Oh, I could exit, but I'm not going to, because there's more secrets. I uh, have no interest I feel like in buying you're stealing Xbox. from the dead. <laughs> Maybe. Wait. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, I have to wait till he hits the left and goes down. 
Yes. My last console is a 2600. Thrust is never upgraded from a 2600 since 1977. <laughs> he, he's typing this in the chat using something. <laughs> I got a PlayStation 3, which we hardly used. We had yeah. some fun with it, but we hardly used. Yeah. And a Wii. Did you get them? Yeah. You uh, did. did I get them all? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, you had a Wii. Yeah. And a Wii. And we used the Wii like a lot more than the PlayStation 3, really. Yeah. So we had a we have a Wii too. You still have your Wii? I Wii regularly. Oh no, I don't. I have it though. <laughs> I do Wii regularly, but not with the Wii. Not with the Wii. You Wii separately from the Wii. That's right. I Wii using the porcelain. The normal porcelain <laughs> that most people use. Okay, Spider, what am I gonna do here? Oh You're god. Gonna hope that it goes out. Oh you oh, should just stay down there and do peek under it. Ooh, yeah, but then he can come back. Yeah. Uh, what should I do? Should I go like here, hoping he goes all the way down, and then? Oh, oh there was. I that's a good yeah, opportunity, yeah, actually. That's a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Oh God! But you're but not I... good enough to get around that corner quick there enough to take advantage. If he goes now back in. Nope, nope. I got it. I got I'm, it. You're almost stuck, but now you're. If dead. he goes down, I'm dead. What should I do? Oh, Just actually, he won't it. go down because he has to hit a wall. Now go down. To turn around, he has to hit a wall, so he will never go in there. Buck Owen says, my first console was a VCS, Christmas 77. My first console was an NES in like 94. <laughs> my first console was a PlayStation 3. <laughs> if you don't count the uh, Trash 80, which uh, I don't. That's a computer. Yeah. Like a Commodore 64. Yeah. yeah. It had, uh, you know, it a could cart like cartridges, but it wasn't yeah. a console. Maybe. Yeah. Same with the C64. I wouldn't call that a console. Yay! Okay, Spider, what are you gonna do now? If you could do the exact same thing and go back up. Do you see down there at the hole in the wall? Did I go there? I don't know. Oh, yeah, you did. Was... You did, because there was stuff in there. Yeah. yeah. It's not on the edge, so it's not another room. My first console was a Pong system. Oh. Oh, you know what? My first console was a Pong system. Really? Not an official one, but like uh, like a Pong. Pong like? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I took it apart table in the tennis. mid 80s to see what was inside and how it did, worked. Did it go back together again successfully? You've seen it. You don't remember it, but you definitely have seen it. Oh, I probably Because I had it then. Yeah, did yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't remember it. Yay! It, I no, mean, I Pong is, not not, kill is genuinely nothing to like write home about. It's <laughs> it like, is not. It it's is cool. It's very like, simple. I, I remember having it and playing it on a little black and white TV. Oh, yeah, when it first came out, it was like, wow, I can play games I on my TV. It, I definitely did not have it when it first came out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that cool. Okay, is it up here? No, it was down here. There we go. I did go here. I've got it all. And I have all my lives. Oh, my God. What? What? Where'd my key go? Or you was died. that the key? You died. Oh, I did? Damn it. Where's... The... Oh, the key's back. Oh, I must have uh, got an extra side. life then. Oh. Hi, little beast. How do you feel about being picked up now? Have oh, you mellowed now that you're... It. But you're the adult, so now you have to be cool in front of the kid. That's right. Don't freak out. <laughs> He's like... He knows what it's like to be annoyed by things. How does that help? It doesn't. Oh, God. I'll just make him down. realize even more that we're annoying him. Oh, my God. I was one pixel away from death. One. Ah! Okay, now I can finish this level. We're so good kitty. Uh, technically, the first game system we had was very low, was an Odyssey 300 Pong unit. I never had... I have a Pong unit, but I, have, I never had one. I mean, I, did, I had no consoles. I went over to everybody else's house to play consoles. Play, uh... Final Trial. It's the final level. Is it the final level? Yep. Okay. Because I did finish this game. Uh, on the On the emulator. So are those... Oh, there's some money there. You can leave that uh, money? Can leave how that do money? I even get there? Can you leave that money? Uh, nope. Can I leave it? Can leave that money lying around? Can I go through this? No. no. I'm gonna have to go through there. And can you touch those planks that are squiggly? Uh, oh god. Do you want the money? Ah! Do you want to win? Do ah! you want to win? <laughs> you want the money? I do want to win. How bad do you want the money? Uh, very badly. But I want all the money too. Money and win. You got no you go back. Oh, go. oh you can't there's get there. more money. Yeah, you can. I can't. Yeah. You have to go through that secret passage. 
through oh, here. Oh, there you go. I knew you could get there. Down. Oh, thank you. I almost didn't see that. Blends in with the walls. It's gray money. Must be silver. Eh? Oh, this looks terrible. This looks deadly. Very terrible. But I know that... Oh, is that good enough? Great, now you, um, if you die, you can get that money again. <laughs> can I? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh God. <sighs> My feet are touching the electricity. My hair is standing on end. Uh, to be fair, your hair is always standing on end. That's true. You know, go, over to the, go over to the corner. Yes. Up. I can't. Okay, then all right. I have to go over and then up a bit. Oh, oh that's too much. Ah, oh, that's too much. Too much. There, ah. it's just right. Ah. Ah, so Good thing so your scary. hair is not made of something, you know, uh, flammable. Conductive. Yeah. Ah! Does he reset? He does. Okay, let's reset him. No, he doesn't reset. He resets sometimes? He, he, he does reset, but reset equals random position, maybe? Yeah. Oh, God. He's got oh, him. my God. Oh, you electrified yourself. I didn't yourself. even see that. Should have, run! Should have seen it, but I did not. Run, James! Run! I am very scared. Oh, is that good? Oh, it is. Okay, I gotta get that gold before going through the teleporter. Is that fine? I don't think it's fine. I don't think it's, it is it, either. I don't believe the, the one pixel thing. I know it comes from the creator, but he seems... I've heard of other gods. Uh, oh, I can't I think get that's past how you that. Get it. Yeah, like, go up. Okay, you have to just trust in the one pixel. Should I trust in the one pixel? Yeah. Because my foot is just... You have two lives. What are lives for if you're not gonna... Oh my god. That's very <laughs> tricky. Tricky godlike mouse. <laughs> How do I get that <laughs> other gold, though? How do I get that? What? Oh, there's a secret. Was that a teleporter? Is that how you got here? Uh, yeah. I like it. Oh my god. I mean, I don't like that. Dying. That's my, my last life. I'm gonna be super careful. Is it your last life? It is. Or do you have one life after that? No, he's doing it the wrong way. Sorry, you're doing it wrong. We decree. Like mouse. We decree that that should be a reserve and yep. not a. Um... And not a, a, a. How many lives you have total? <gasps> I forgot one? No. It just must have respawned. What? <laughs> That means you get extra points. Oh, 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 oh bug. What? Oh, yeah. No, he's just shamed. He's just like, <laughs> shamed. Oh, I can't even believe you did that. Don't get it. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to leave that as an exercise to somebody else, I think. <laughs> finish the game. I did finish the game elsewhere. Uh, or can do a quick run through without getting all the gold. Just to see the last level. Uh, but you already have all the gold, see? Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the gold. I keep so it. So you're saying he said that he thinks that it just it's Might he's not reset. resetting the the top score. No, I score. want whatever I want, the top score is is not reset. I want all the high scores, all of them. It's a cumulative score. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. It's it's the thing about having a spider around when when literally the walls are electric. Yeah, is it's, it's a bad you get, combo. You get scared into running into the wall because <laughs> spider is scarier than electricity. Oh, your scores belong to us. Yes, the, sky, the spider is way more scary than the, the walls because he it's moves. It's so funny when somebody walks by your house. You can hear their conversation. And I think, is the game talking to us? <laughs> <laughs> it could. It's quite high fidelity though. Oh, it's hot today. Oh, no, it's that the, the, the spikes. They're giving you hot flashes. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that was ballsy. I give you that credit was. for for your uh, balls that you obviously <laughs> have. That's right. Oh, oh, come on! I set myself up. Should I do it? No. Nope. <laughs> I should. You should get a little closer and zip in there ahead of him. 
Too oh, there you go. There we go. It's good to know that the spider only changes directions hitting the wall, rather than just random directions. Oh, I have to get gold, but I won't even get all of it, just to annoy some people. <laughs> okay, so that's the key, so that's I need to get key. that. That's fine. Oof. I'm going the top side is the easier way, isn't it? Uh, or is it not? I think it might. I don't think, I don't think so. I don't know. Well, it depends. In, it's... What? Oh, bonus I gold. I didn't get that last time. You didn't. Go, I can't. Go up. Oh, oh, it's a dark maze. I'll do it because I didn't do it before. Tricky. That one was very it's tricky. Like, uh, hidden in plain sight. Yeah. Like the gold is not hidden from you. <laughs> but it is. But you still don't see it. <laughs> yes. Because you are a human. That's so funny. Very tricky. Uh, now, where was the key in this? Did I even find it? Was it through there? Mm, through the swirly? Can't remember. Let's do the safe route. Or is there a safe route? Wait, wait, go back. Oh, there is the key. So yes, where it is through the oh, yeah, portal. Oh yeah, it's through the swirly, swirly swirl. <laughs> too, too excited. You're like, I have so many lives. I need to burn some of them. <laughs> They're burdening me. It's embarrassing the number of lives that I have. <laughs> Can you go over the top? Oh. Ah. Nice. Nice. I like it. Thank you. Godlike Mouse uh, ah. forced us to learn something. He did. Uh, Mara said something funny today. Yeah. She's. Uh, I'm turning 50 in a couple of days, and Hooray! I'm having a party, and she's arranging all these like activities. <laughs> and she said. Bouncy Castle. <laughs> she. <laughs> She literally looked up a bouncy castle. I oh, saw her really? looking up a bouncy castle. And, and the Hilarious. inflatable boat that I have is called the Bouncy Castle. Yes. Named by her. <laughs> Anyways, uh, she said to me today that she has a little writing group. And she said that the thing she learned from the writing group is yep. that people like it when you organize things and make them do it. <laughs> uh, organize activities and make them do it. Do no, they? No. I don't so think they do. They do. Just oh, you're, you're, the person you're, organizing it does. No, 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 no. The people do. You're doing that thing that's called projection, where because <laughs> you think you don't like it, but you're I saying don't. other people won't like it. But most people, oh, most people God. are like. I have to get the key again. Most people are a little bit um, reluctant to do the things, and so they like. They like. Uh, what am I doing? They like when you make them do the thing, because then they can be like, I don't want to do the thing, the thing is stupid. They made me do it. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like... True. It's like, you don't want to do the thing, but then you see the other people doing the thing. And remember, you can go to the top there. Um, oh, right. And then you do the other people see the thing, and, and you a little bit want to do it, but also you want to not, you want to stay cool. Well, and you want to not have to interact with people or whatever. In, 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 a, in general cases, yes. In my case, no. Do not make me do the thing, especially in. Fr oh, uh, go, 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 go. Da 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 da. da. The spider quickens, and uh -oh. then you do it over again. Very cool. Oh, I quicken too. That is not a good thing. <laughs> not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Very but you, awesome. But you do need to quicken. To, ra to run to, the spider. Yeah, That's yeah. true. Playing it on turbo. Great game. Godlike mouse. And thank you for making it. Yeah. And thank you for being here to watch us play it. Very, hey, look. very nice. Looking forward to more levels. What's on the top left corner? Uh, that's I am the king. Oh, I crown. am the king. It shows that I guess if you're doing a screenshot that you've done a loop. Ah. Because if you don't get the gold, you could have the same score as if you got the gold, maybe, right? So. Oh, okay. That's a good indicator. Okay, we looks really, really good. Yes, I love it, and I love I love the look of this, like the. I think if you're graphics. reading the chat, you're supposed to read what's there and not what you translate. So what it really, really said was, looks goody. really good goody. 
Goody, goody, goody. Goody, good, or goody. Goody, goody. Really good goody. Yep. <laughs> okay, next game. Actually, you don't have to play it yet, but next game we're going to play is Scorch. Scorch, oh. This is probably one of the earliest games I played on a PC. Um, don't load it yet. Um, we're going to take a look at the PC version of Scorched Earth, which it is a port of. Uh, I remember this. This, yeah. like, I mean, there's more than one version of this type of game, I think, but I definitely remember playing this. Yeah, like, with well, this, this is like, PC Windows, version. like, using, like, the Windows. Fake Windows. No, but I mean, it had, yeah, I don't know if it was fake, but it, like, it was for used DOS. the Windows. Um, yeah, it was. Was it for, yeah, it was for DOS, I believe. Yeah. 91 to 95, I guess. Yeah. Oh, let's go back to the menu just for a second. Yeah, it's for DOS. Scort. Very nice. The mother of all games. <laughs> uh, Scorched Earth is a shareware artillery video game. It was released for MS DOS in 1991. And how many how many players was the most players you played it with? Oh, like me playing it? Uh, probably just two. I definitely played it with like I a mean, significant number of people. Yeah. 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 Player eight I of eight. I don't know if we ever had eight, but there we definitely go. had like five you know yeah or maybe more playing it i can't remember if you all had to crowd around the same all keyboard the or what we did i don't really remember uh I yeah think so because it's a single screen and you trade off um, no 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 was it oh it was a yes. single screen and you take turns yeah, take turns shooting no no you're right yeah, yeah i just remember it's off. yeah yeah uh, originally bit written by Wendell Hicken using Borland C++ and Turbo Assembler, co players control tanks that do turn-based battle in two-dimensional terrain. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> adjusting the angle and power of each tank turret before each shot, Scorchers is one of the many games in a genre of turn-based artillery games. Such games are amongst the earliest computer games with versions existing for mainframes with only teletype output. Scorched Earth was a plethora of weapon types and power-ups is considered the modern archetype of its format. It was so good, so early on. Yeah. I played this game a ton against the CPU back in the day. I think I played it on my 286 as one of the first games to test out my new SVGA card that installed at the time, uh, ITC says. I remember learning <laughs> that it was worth it to buy the stuff. Yeah. Like, I had to learn from experience because it seemed like buying this stuff was, like, a lot of money. Buy it early you so you to can buy use it, it. So you can use it and then, like... Get more money. <laughs> actually get more money. That was the thing. Was yeah, that, don't like, save up. The saving is not your... Yeah. Do the incremental thing. Because if they don't buy it, you're going to destroy them. Um, the game has a wide variety of customization options from gravity, wind, money, meteorite showers... And a similarly large pool of different payloads al allowing for a large amount of entirely different situations. The AI players can display text messages before firing, such as, I shall smash your ugly tank. And, and before dying, such as, join the army, see the world, they said. Um, and there's a lot more information about this as well. Um, so the one we're going to be playing... Why does Green keep shooting over there? There seems to be a tank over there. He's maybe a dumb AI. Uh, the one we're going to be playing is n been in development for 19 years <laughs> for the Atari. Um, started in 2003. So there you go. Let's go fast forward ahead a little bit in this game. See if they've got some cool weapons here. Cause you, oh, he's just shooting baby missiles still. Baby nuke! Boom! Baby nuke. Very nice. Okay, let's switch away from that. Go back to the Atari. Oh, it's already on there. Good. Wait, wait, and no. Yep. So oh, they spelt it wrong. Scorch. Yeah. X E X is. Oh my. <laughs> That's the execute. Oh, uh, you're trying to be funny. That's trying. <laughs> With little success. Read no success. <laughs> yes, predecessor to Worms, which is also an amazing, fun game. Because Worms, you could move around. <clears throat> this, did, could you get upgrades to move around in this one? In Scorched Earth, I can't I remember. Like... 
I don't I feel think like so. you could move. Uh, you could but fall. Like, it was like you could move, but not like far. Yeah. And it was like a, it was like someone's like, honing, someone's like closing in on you. Or like, well, I better use that do, now. Do, do, do. Yeah, I, I, move I a tiny bit. Yeah. I, didn't I I remember this game. I liked it a lot, but I actually didn't play it that much. It was definitely for me like the joy was playing it with a bunch of people, and that opportunity wasn't like common. So I only played it like a few times, really. I didn't play. I seem to remember computer. playing it. In high school, but that's almost impossible because it came out the year I graduated. Um, so I don't think I did. Where would I play it? Just with other people on my computer, I guess. Yeah. But it, it was it was shareware, so mm -hmm. it could the have year been you got around? it, if it came out the year you got it, it was almost certainly being played by you because it, it that's like, true. Took off like crazy. I'm sure. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's adorable. Sorry, I gotta take a picture of the. the I, if I get up, sleeping cats. No, it's yeah. probably. Well, I want to show people. No, he was. Yeah, he was disturbed by you again. They're cute. You're bad. Okay. Ah. Okay. Press the button so music. Oh, it's treat time. Just in time, just before we started. Nobody wants to give them catnap? Probably because the little cat doesn't doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh, that's a lot. There you go. Ding! So I'll read about um, this game. So 2003, for the first time, Scorched Earth for the Atari XLXE Build 103 published. Together with uh, PECUS, we're working on this piece of code for four years, and it does not look like it's accelerating. So we decided to publish what we have. Um, so PIRX posted this in the Atari Age forum starting in 2018. Um, just coincidentally, I've uploaded the latest Scorch version to GitHub. It's a bit better than the 2009 version. Um, and then this latest one, 2022, June 5th, rewrite, rewrite build. We've done several important parts of the game to allow for bug fixes and request features. Generally it was a great success, but some new bugs appeared. The build is nice for the eye, but beware, no mercy for testers again. Only visible changes listed because you're possibly not as excited as we are for the new flight routine and ground collisions. Uh, tanks now say goodbye properly. Press escape to quit the game at any point. Uh, should be no occurrences of frivolous weapon purchases. Please report all tanks that getting their munitions from uncertified Try sources. Right again. Do it. The last one's got to be good. Oh, Sprite was Sprite was interested in that. Oh, no, come on. Come. Make the noise. Come on. Do it. Louder. Louder. There. there we go. You did it. Good kitties. Well, one good kitty. <laughs> and one very good kitten. Thank you, Ivory Tower Collections. Good kitty. You're a good kitty. Atarian Sprite, good kitty. thank you. You're a good kitten. Yeah, he's getting very used to being petted now. Oh, no, 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 no. He's very distracted by the fact that there are <laughs> snacks. True. Each time snack time comes around, I'm like time taking it in. Oh, pet him. He's just like, I don't care. He is very soft. Because he's not really scared of people. I think he's just like, ha. Ah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's oh, excited. that's the thing I'm going, I might attack that thing. It's attacking me. Not necessarily it's trying to kill me, but it's <laughs> playing attack me. And I don't get, I don't and just I run away. accept that. I run away. That's how yeah. it feels to me. Because like, kittens love to play. Yeah. Okay. So, two players. We can have a, a computer. Let's do... Okay. Three. Four. Yeah. No. Four. Okay, so cash. Should we have some cash so we can show some weapons? Let's go for full cash. Oh. Oh, God. What did you do? Did you do all the other things? I don't know. Oh, return. Uh, tab. Uh... There we, go. there we go. Okay. Okay. Four players, 10k, gravity normal. Oh, he's hissy now. Wind, sure, middle. Rounds, low, yeah, only 10. 
Missiles. Yeah, that's normal. Uh, yeah, seppuku. Often. Often. What is that? Oh, they Ninjics. kill. They just dis- they explode when they. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Often it's fun. Okay. Good. Press it. Um. So. The tank one is human. human. Okay. Yep. Human. Press human. it. Okay. Human. And then we go. Tosser. <laughs> um. We'll we'll have a uh, Atari play. Oh well, he's kind of a, he's a cyborg. I call him a shooter. Okay. And then we will have Sprite play. Okay, he's a moron. Yeah, he's new. He doesn't know how to play games. It's not. It's not the right word for him. He's but just, that's the level. His level of of uh, smarts is moron because he's so young. And he's and very distracted. Young people are stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They'll do dumb things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm turning 50, so I get to say things like, young people, blah, 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 blah. Back in Soon. my day, we played okay, text adventures. Said, okay, so... Um, we liked it. How much do I have? A thousand. Oh, okay. So you get limited very quickly. Uh, so I definitely want some baby missiles. Oh, God. I bought nothing. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> Don't press the button. It's okay, you have to tell me what you want. You. you have to tell me what you want. I want a nuke. You can't. Why? Because it's fourteen hundred and forty dollars for one. And you uh, have a thousand dollars. That's too many. Press the space. See? Oh, what? What? It's. What? That doesn't make any sense. You had a thousand. You spent like. Uh, 150? It says one dollar. It says yeah. one per dollar. <laughs> one per dollar. Okay. I don't know. Uh, it's not working right, but... I just... Here, this one here. Press the space. That one says three for four thousand five hundred. Okay, press space. See what happens. Ah, it worked. Uh, I'm... Uh, oh, no. It, now it said no. Okay. But Baby your cash went down. It did. But I didn't and get you anything. Got it. Oh, you didn't get anything. No. But you oh, have a tracer so expensive. And you have 99 baby missiles. Tracers are. Yeah, why are Press tracers base. so Press space there. Five. Okay. And you still have tons of cash. Press it again. Okay, that's good. That's very strange. It's totally fair, and I don't <laughs> want to hear anything about it. <laughs> okay, my turn to shoot you with a baby <laughs> missile. This is your chance to win, even though I got a nuke and you didn't. I know, because I luckily get to go first, and I have to take you out immediately. No. I don't know what the other guys bought. I don't think, I don't think it's right for you to play like that. Which one are you, though? I don't know. Hmm. Well, the orange one I'm is... usually green, so it's probably that one. <laughs> Okay, I'm going for green then. Oh, yeah, it did have colors, didn't it? No. Okay, I can't remember what color you were, though. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, right. No, yeah, I can't. Right. I mean, Ugh. I think it wasn't green. Atari <laughs> is was. orange, and he just took me out by killing himself. Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? Atari! <laughs> oh. So you are green. I am. Okay, that's <laughs> funny. I really did not think I was green. <laughs> Darcy is green, Thress says. Yep. I don't know how the computer knew that I should be green. <laughs> Do I press the button fire? Yeah. Uh, no! <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Sprite, take him out. Take him out, Sprite. But I don't get any money, do I? I told you to leave my sister alone. Oh, come on. He is a moron, though. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. I think it's just random when they're a moron. They're just like... And direct hit. Arg. I won, and I didn't even cheat and use any of my <laughs> superior no, munitions. Didn't. Now you get money to buy even better things. <laughs> Sprite got two points. But at least I get to buy something this time. Hey, I got a point. Yay, I wasn't last somehow. 
I don't know how. But because you got taken out by somebody who died. Ah, uh, that's I think why. it's. I think the points are not based on how many. Are they? What are they based on? Is it? I think they're just who. Got I didn't out take first. two people out. I took. Oh, sorry. You I, lasted I took, the I took two people out, not three, but I got three points. So I, I think it's whoever's last. Whoever's last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Press button. It's me. Do not press the button. <laughs> you have fewer point money than you started with. Ugh. What did I look at? My my vision is going. I don't think I'm gonna get a missile. I definitely want a baby nuke. It's because I'm turning 50. My vision is. It's all gone down downhill me. completely. <laughs> oh, you can get a nuke. Oh, leapfrog. I can get a leapfrog. I can get. Uh, funky bomb. Might as well get some missiles. Spend all my money. Your turn. Someone crazy? Bug in your eye? No, it's just like, you know, like it's, it's Two as days though to 50? I was looking at the light directly or something. Oh, God. Which uh, I may have been, is the point. Like I Could have been a visual migraine. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Mm. You tell me what you want to buy, and I'll press the space. Okay, uh, baby nuke, press the space. Woohoo! Right, press enter and skip you. Okay, you still have lots of money. I have no idea what these oh, numbers frog, that mean. sounds fun. All right, it spent my money but didn't give it to me. I think they punish you for... Um... Oh, yeah, it didn't give it to you. Yeah. This, this is a work Apparently, in progress. Oh, Atari's first. Going first, huh? Oh, my goodness. And he took you out. Yes. Please, but I am dead. Uh, I believe in the other version, you, the tanks were not dying just because they were in an explosion. Uh, we don't have any like defenses, points, yeah. which we didn't even look at. We should have looked at the defenses. We'll look at it next time, but we're even. Nobody bought defenses. Thrust says ignore the last digit. Oh, okay. Thank you, Thrust. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so now I'm playing the computers. And how do I change weapons? Is it space, I'm guessing? No, it's not. <laughs> Maybe tab. Hmm. Merry Christmas. Oh my god. They did buy some bigger weapons. Tab? Yes, it's tab, as I thought. Oh, should I use it? I have three of them. Uh, boom! Oh no is right. How many points money did you get for that, do you know? Zero. I think I don't know if you get points. There's no points. Okay, that has to go very far. I'm not going to use a baby nuke because I don't know if I'm even close. These are pretty much tracers. Like, why would you buy tracers? Be oh, because the tracer maybe stays on the screen. Oh yes. Don't you? You just care about where it goes. It ends up though, really. That needs to go much higher. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I hit the top of the mountain. All well, the first says all the items you can't buy anymore disappear from the list. Uh, even ones you have bought. Hmm, okay. Maybe that's why I this should work. didn't see how myself having some. Oh, direct hit. What? Oh, what? Well, he died because he fell and we have no hit points. Any damage at all kills us. But he shot after I killed him. Oh, maybe you do have hit points. Is this know. cumulative points? Yeah, it's cumulative points. Yeah, and I got none this time because I died first. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Sprite. But how did Atari good. get no points? I uh, don't know. Okay. What do I want? I have a little bit of cash. I actually want to go and see some defensive stuff. Okay, I can't buy any defense. Things. Don't want a white flag. <laughs> uh, so ignoring the last digit, I can buy a lot of stuff. Oh, I didn't even realize there was off-screen stuff. I love dirt. dirt. I yeah, love the one. dirt. They're so much fun. Because it keeps them busy digging themselves out. Yeah. I'm going to buy a cheap, just a dirt ball, I think. These are fun too. Yeah, it's, it's 
actually buy get, one. I forgot about them, but when I saw them, I was like, ooh, get that yeah. one. There we go. Yeah, you can't tell what you have when it's off the screen, but that's yeah, yeah. fine. You can memorize it. This is only for buying, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no cash. Spent it all. Buy some more baby. I feel like I lost money. I feel like I have less money than I started, than I had at the end of the last time. I think so. Huh, interesting. Maybe you spent it all. I don't, I can't remember. Yeah, because there was some listed. I had like a hundred and something. Because there was stuff listed yeah, yeah, last yeah. time. Anyways, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I haven't okay. even used any of my special stuff yet. Sprite goes first. Ooh, 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 it's the God. only problem Funky with bomb. this game. It's not a real problem. Mm -hmm. But it's like, lamentable that you... It's also one of the things that makes the game cool. Yes. Is that you can die before you get your turn. Yes. <laughs> it is cool. It's it's random who goes first. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, it's smart to take out the human opponents. Wee. Oh, I'm blue now. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. You've been blue the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> is there a way to Oh, force. Yeah, up and down. Up and distance. Ah, distance. Right? That's why I missed. I haven't been looking at the wind, not that I'd really take that into factor. Well, you need to try shooting before you even know what to do about the wind. Does the wind change from turn to turn? Or is it per round? I think it's... No, it's per... Wow. I did. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 not no. yet. Still good. You've got five energy Five energy out of... I, don't, I didn't see how much it goes up to, but you've got five. Oh, it says I only have force of 50. Oh, no. Like I've taken damage or something. Yeah, okay. It must be out of 100 energy. Yeah, because you don't have any energy left. You're very, very injured. Okay, can you uh, click the button? That, do I... Missile, uh, oh, baby nuke, 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 leapfrog, which is probably your best option. No, no. MIRB. Uh, you won't be able to shoot it high enough. I want to go to nuke. You're going to take yourself out. Yeah, hopefully I take someone else out with me. <laughs> oh, that was that was way closer than I thought. <laughs> yes. I thought it was going to be pathetically close. I didn't realize it was going to actually be pathetically, pathetically close. close. I thought it was going to be like just like limp, like I can't reach those people. I didn't realize it was going to be, A I can toss. only shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because energy starts at a hundred, so you can go up to a thousand force, and you were at fifty. Down, 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 down. Oh, even higher. Oh yes, direct perfect hit. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Using up one of your nukes? No, to shoot the dum dum. Oh. Yeah. Now this guy's not shooting at the dum dum, he's shooting at you. Oh no! I forgot who was who. Uh. Ooh, the wind is going dead that way. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, he's dumb. Oh, this is Sprite. He's... Oh, yeah, I yeah. mixed up the colors. Okay. You shot the correct person. I, I didn't do it on purpose. Ooh, it's got some cool music. Uh, I think I want one of those MIRVs. Oh God, that's it? Oh, I didn't even look at my defensive. Damn it. Oh, you got some cash. Oh. Cash for And how do I look at defensive? Can you click tab? I don't think I can get anything, but no, okay. Nothing yet. I guess they're really expensive because they are very helpful. So, I want that. Uh, oh, sorry. Tracer, dirt clod, baby nuke. That's fine. Oh, you're green. You're green now. That's why I was mixed up. Because oh, what? they actually changed colors. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm getting buried. That was Atari. We made Atari a shooter. Did you kill all of us? No. None of us. 
Oh, it's your turn. Oh, okay. I am green. Yeah. It showed green, and then it showed you, and then it went to Atari. Oh. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know. So how many people played this back in the day, or have played this? I'm sure everybody's played this. It was like the game to play for like at least a year or two on your PC. Uh, so I click tab? Oh, yeah, sorry, tab, yeah. Just tab. That one, yeah. Yeah, this is one of the earliest games I remember on the PC too playing. Like one of the. Uh oh. Well, at least you didn't kill yourself. Oh, it did. A little bit. A little bit. Like graphical <laughs> games on the PC. What? Yeah, I don't know. The, the Force. The Force. Um, I'm. Yeah, I'm not aware of. I don't have a sense of how much force equals. I would say a what. thousand is almost the full screen. Well, it depends on think. the angle. You can shoot off the screen well, with, true. you know, at a forty-five. That's what I'm kind of taking it as. Oh, uh, your what? energy's forty-nine. It says. Yeah. I, so we did get we did take damage. Yeah, quite a bit actually. Maybe that's why I could only shoot two fifty. Uh, you got a bit more damage. Yeah. I think I that much. Oh my god, perfect hit. <laughs> wow. I shouldn't be aiming for you. Or I should be aiming for you. <laughs> I, I do, do you want to have a truce and go after the... Oh. Um, I think you should do what you want to do. I don't... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bothered by you shooting at me. Okay. Because you are the biggest me, threat you, to me. If you're shooting at me, you're not shooting at them. Yes. That's just how it is. Like, you can only shoot at one person. Sprite is doing... Exceptionally well for being a moron. Sorry, Sprite. <laughs> He's all like, Oh no, I have no energy. How am I going to even do this? Uh, you're not? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Like, Just shoot a baby missile and see where it goes. So you can learn for next game. See, not very far. 156 doesn't do squat. I'm going to have to kill myself. Oh, actually, I can see if he ever kills himself. Yeah. Because he might, because he's a moron. He's done it before. <laughs> he's so dumb that he shoots in the wrong direction and says, I shall flatten you. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to dig a, dig a hole. Freeze or I'll shoot. I, uh... Hopefully I don't... I uh, don't think it's good ah. to have, have a mechanic where when you get hit... You become more useless. Oh, You're already doing bad, and my, then you get... I don't know. I'm not sure. My energy was like, gone generally. down. Yeah, it's... it's kind of, My energy keeps going down. I'm going to kill myself. myself yeah. there. Yeah. It's going to happen anyway. I, I got less and less ability to shoot. Spray is kicking ass. Stop it, little cat. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I, the number one thing that helps you survive longer I is being anything. the one that... Uh, nobody is afraid of. <laughs> he should do better because he should be left to the last to kill. And he's getting more points because of it yeah. and more money. Yeah. Oh. 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 But he's ter He's useless though. Nothing. See. No. Okay, so I'm first this time. Yeah. You have all your energy. Many, many times with the explosions turned to max, so the nukes took out half the screen. Oh, yeah, it was configurable on the PC version. Oh. A little bit of... Uh... Oh, my God. What's going on here? Oh. My God. That was a leapfrog, I think. Yeah. Boing, boing, boing. So you're down to 61. Energy. Uh, that's not too bad. I can still shoot. Yeah. It does seem to be one for one. Yeah. Oh, good wind. That should be right. Trying to get the orange guy. Come on. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Accidentally shot for you. Now I have to kill you because you know where I am. <laughs> yes. It is better that I shoot for you now. 
I only remember playing Worms. I, oh my god, I am either dead or might as well be at this point. Nope, dead. D-E-A-D. Uh -oh. oh, what happened? It's not a good scene. How much energy do you have? Oh, you got tons. 97, you can win this. Worms is, is awesome. I, I remember playing that a lot as well. And Lemmings. Some of the early Two. kind of sure. single screen games. the win oh yeah when he dies it can take you out but what does it matter at that point you still get the points right i don't know i only got one oh no i got three points because yeah. i had five before atari got two points <laughs> huh because atari had three. Oh, huh. that was atari that makes sense yeah. yeah 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 and you got one yeah and sprite got none that time yeah i don't have enough Oh, thank you, RoboCat, RoboCat2084 for following. Glad you're enjoying us playing Scorch. No? You having some I trouble? Just, like, I don't know why my... I've got, like... Well, don't look up at those spotty. lights. Did you look up at those lights? They're very bright. No, but they're in my peripheral vision. I don't know. That could be. Oh, you can press the, the button. I don't have any money. Oh, I, I did oh, get money that time. Let's look at the def defensive. Yes. You might be able to afford some. No. Maybe they haven't implemented it yet. <laughs> Lemmings by Cygnosis is a classic. Yeah, it's a great puzzle. Puzzle, barely action game. Um, it's Lemmings. It's such a good game. Liquid Dirt. Oh, what else is there? <gasps> laser. Oh. Can you aim the laser directly? I can't remember what the laser's about. I think about. the point of the laser would be that you can go straight. Like, actually aim it and then it would be good that oh it, the laser would be great if you if your energy is low and you can't and have no arc maybe. yes uh, but you need a line of sight do you yeah. want to get that one just uh sure no you it. didn't buy it oh i didn't that's okay you get it next round if i haven't lost too much money yeah what i wanted was more mervs <laughs> <laughs> merv 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 Baby nukes. <laughs> oh god. Oh, uh -oh. that wasn't very far. <laughs> it was nowhere near as far. <laughs> like it must be like is the weight Oh what? the wind. Oh the wind is quite the a wind bit. had a big effect. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, you're obviously aiming for me. I was not aiming for you. I was no. aiming the only direction I could go, and I thought there are three targets. If I fire a baby nuke, I have a chance of hitting one of them. I don't know where I'm aiming. That's why I risked a baby nuke, even though it was my oh. first shot. You go ahead and shoot at me. That's fine. It's, I just want you to know that you're not justified in your uh, argument. Oh, almost got him directly. But did he die? Oh, he didn't. Your turn. Creative computing had the Fred Fish listings of each disc in the back of the mag. That was always the first thing I looked at. No? Amazing computing. <laughs> Pick it up. Because wind 36, I would take that as 360 off your force. Ooh. It seems. Yeah. Yeah. About 360 off your force. <laughs> I think this was almost perfect with his yes 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 perfect <laughs> nice still going with the baby nukes you only have one left oh you're going for me oh so mean merry christmas oh just <laughs> i'm gonna fall down a no. lot. Oh, only just. If you, only if you eventually fall down. Barely hanging on. <laughs> the worst part is I didn't learn anything. <laughs> like, I, I'm no better off. <laughs> a little. I know that I need less power or something to get you. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to do something drastic because you're going to get me. Next. You're in a better position than I am because you are higher up in the gravity well. 
Uh, so oh God. you can lose force, and you could no. still hit both of us. Just killed myself, I think. Buried you in a little bit of dirt. Yeah, I... Oh, God, and I fell. Oh, yeah, that seems deadly. to the top to get over there. Perfect. Oh. 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 It's Ooh, funny because so if I'd done what you said, I probably would have hit him. <laughs> if I'd yep. gone all the way to the top. Scorched tanks. Scorched earth, yes. Uh, this one is a port called Scorch. Um, it seems like both buttons sometimes work. Yeah, I press it sometimes. It's like does nothing. Sometimes I press this one. Well, they both, work. they both do the same oh. thing on this. It's only a single button on a platform. Oh! 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 Direct hit. That's bright. Sprite kicking ass as a moron. <laughs> okay, press button. Oh, I have a bit of cash. Mm -hmm. uh, not enough to buy. I don't think there is any... Uh, Defensive. Check defensive because you had more. We don't, we don't know what the limitation is. We don't True. know if it's money, yeah, or if it's time. Like this stuff get added, you know, like riot bomb. I don't know what that does. True. Oh, I want the laser. Press the space bar. There we go. Okay, your turn. Okay, scroll down. Uh, Murph, go to Murph. It's a good one. And Death's head. Nice. I can't remember what it does. I just remember it being popular. <laughs> yep, I remember the death set being pretty good. No! Direct hit on me! Oh, you've died. Nice round. <laughs> yes! At least one point for me. Yes! I think. Actually, I don't think. That oh, works. PRX is here! Hey! It's the developer of this game. Hey! Welcome! Uh, change, speed up changing the power with a joystick. Uh, I was playing with the keyboard exclusively. Money. Uh, yes. Yeah, if you could do a repeat, because I think you have to press down for each one. Um, now I know you wouldn't... Yeah, you have to use the keyboard in this game, because I don't... Oh, you know what you could do? You could make this fully joystick compatible. To... Change the weapon. You could press the button short. To fire the weapon, you can hold down the button. And that way you don't need to use the keyboard at all. And then in the buying screen, you could have. <laughs> that was funny. Sandhog. I wasted a sand hog because oh, I hit him basically them. directly. Oh. Oh, because it just. I, maybe I didn't hit him directly. For this version, you only have a parachute. More defensive with the next release. Oh, okay, so there's you can buy a parachute. That's good to know. Yeah, PIRX, if you are able to um, add in full joystick compatibility, it would be super, super awesome in this. Um, and dual joystick as well. Because I tested with the second joystick, it doesn't do anything. You could have all joysticks control everything. Purchased by joystick is right. Oh, I didn't know that. Awesome. Okay, What's so that? Um, the purchasing, mm -hmm. uh, you just press to the right. Oh, I see. Um, and if you make the left switch between defensive and offensive weapons, you've completely eliminated the key need for keyboard. And in this one, you can just press the button to change through, press the button short to change the weapons and hold it to fire the weapon. And then you've gotten rid of the keyboard entirely and we don't have to get up all the time. Because I, I and, and then you'll be couch compliant. That's, that's a thing we do on the show. If, if we don't have to get up from using the joystick for the game, we call it couch compliant because there's lots of switches on the 2600. So if ever if they've completely moved over to the joystick, 
because we're lazy. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, PayRx, because this is a great party game. Even if it's just one joystick, passing it back and forth is good. Um, because sometimes we have four four people over, and this would be so awesome to include on that list to play multiplayer games. Oh, make the top a menu. Left and right changes entry. Yeah, you could scroll all the way to the top, and then you can go left and right to change that as well. That's probably even better, because you start at the top anyway. Ooh, nice. Ciao! Drexel wins! Victory! Round seven. We're almost there. I, I, I oh, love, you're moving up the rankings! I love that the worst player and the other worst player are winning. <laughs> it's luck. <laughs> no, no, I mean it's bright. Uh, yeah, yeah, We yeah. made him the bad player, and, I, and that's we already talked about how that means he gets to survive longer. <laughs> he does. Sprite is still in the lead. Yes, he is. Uh, uh, I no can't cash. buy anything, and you can. I can. Right? Yep. Nice. Thank you Thank for the tip. You. My turn. I you not... get a turn this game. Yeah. Didn't he I kill do. you before you got the shoot last time? I did. I didn't. Hey, Nathan Strum, sub sub subscribe for Thank 31 you for months. Subscribing. What, did it not trigger? Oh, I have it turned it way down. Way down. You guys heard it, but we didn't. Um, okay, Darcy's green. Sprite is yellow, right? Mm, yeah, I, I think he is. Think so. Uh, win 16. I do not want a funky bomb right now. I just want normal. I'll use a laser when I have a good line of sight, which is not this turn. Maybe the laser think. goes through all the dirt. Actually, let's put it on the laser. No, I don't think it does. That'd be too easy. Everybody would just save up for the laser. It is expensive. But no. Like it doesn't... It probably just does a straight shot, so you can, like, estimate where it's shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I still play the ages. We're old men now. Can't get up from the couch. <laughs> okay, orange. Wind is 16. Yeah, around there, maybe. Oh, not around there at all. Not there at all. up from the couch is my only form of exercise. <laughs> yep. And we don't even have to get up to change channels anymore. Like on the old TVs. Oh, well, the wind's only shoot. 16 now. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. It was 86 before. In this round? I thought it was 86 no. in your turn. What was I looking at? The no, it was 16 on my turn. All right, well, I'll just you might have looked at round 8 and merged them. Yeah, uh, PRX, there's also something really strange with the fire button going on. You have to press it a bunch of times for it to work. See? Oh, no. Yeah, see? No, oh, angle! I looked at the angle. Oh, because it does look like the wind. Yeah, yeah. Because I angle saw, can be I just left. looked for the anger, the, 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 the anger. arrow. I just yeah. looked at the arrow, and I didn't. Yeah, because I guess that's to show whether you're pointing left or right. Yeah, it makes sense. I just... Because yeah. uh, you... You don't have to look at your own tank. Uh, yes. Hi, kitties. Good Atari. Hasta la vista, baby. Ooh, so close. I was not aiming for either of you. I was aiming for yellow. Oh! <laughs> I missed yellow by a little bit. I didn't think I'd change the angle that much, but I guess I did. Oh, what? Okay, you're getting a big bada boom next time. Who is? Not you, the orange guy. Atari. This cat. Hey, hey, hey! Look, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling I hardly changed it. Yeah, anyways. Okay, both of you. Both of you are getting some. <laughs> Maybe you can get us both. Maybe. 
I can't, re- I can't remember what side I hit you on. MIRV. <laughs> That's what you're both getting, if I can figure it out. Uh, and that one was short. I think I need you to need, like you need a lot more power. Under that. A little bit less angle. I need to get over that hill now. MIRV explodes at the apex, I think, right? Yeah. Now, now, now! Damn it, damn it! Did I get him? Maybe. Yes! At least I got him. You fall down a bit. No? No. <laughs> Not at all. I was reading t- uh, Trigger Zero directly from hardware, but it was too sensitive. <laughs> uh. I didn't adjust anything because when I hit last time, you slid into the spot my bullet was going. <laughs> right. Oh. I don't even know. Who did that? Did he shoot himself? He, he did. Oh, he just missed. And it was with a baby missile, probably, so he just hit the dirt. Uh, now it reads from Trigger Zero S as Shadow Register. That changes once per frame. We'll look at it again. Well, we'll try and hold it down this time. Try holding it down. See if it... No. See, you had to press it three times. There. Very not sensitive. So it's like skipping over the trigger. Sometimes. You're definitely holding it down longer than a 60th of a second. Because that's hard to do. Sprite is definitely a uh, formidable opponent. <laughs> Blast it. Does not want 73. Now, perfect. Well, I was pretty sure 73 was perfect, <laughs> and that's why I was really irritated that it was not letting me have it. Drexel's in the lead! Woo-hoo! Now, yeah. <laughs> Sprite will stay in the lead after this round. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that what you predict, Thomas? Uh, um, I'll take a nuke. And right? Yeah. Thank you. Cause Sprite has to win now. Or Sprite has to just beat the other people that are ahead to get ahead. Like, you have to be last, and Sprite has to be second, because I don't think Sprite's going to take first. Sprite just does random shots anywhere. Oh, can I use my laser? Almost. Almost use my laser. I don't think you can depress. Oh, I can't go lower than 90. No, No, I can't use my laser. But I can lob it. That orange. About right. Uh, 16 wind. Okay. Not MIRV. No, no, no. The fact that the button doesn't fire like every time you press it is not the biggest problem in the world. No. If it fired when you didn't want it to fire, that would suck. <laughs> Having to press the button a few times is fine. No. Oh, yes. Like yeah. this is not a. It's not a. It's not a speed-based game. It's a like you make a decision, press the button when you're done game. It's. Oh, my God. oh wow. Perfect. That's a good I didn't shot. need to use a nuke. <laughs> That was fun anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and because you hit him directly, your nuke didn't go off. <laughs> That's true. Funny. Because I didn't need to. Like These tanks have no armor whatsoever. Just a little spitball will make them explode. Okay. I need a lot more. Maybe nuke still. Yeah, sure. It's round nine. Let's use up all the fun stuff. Oh, 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 a little bit of damage. Maybe. Oh, and fall damage. <laughs> and Sprite lobs it. 49. Oh, good enough to not hit me. Well, we'll nice. see. Nice. We'll see. We'll see how well, true that is. Depends on the weapon, I think. The wind is going that way. If James hits Darcy first, Sprite wins. Oh, uh, tab. I hit the wrong button. Tab. Oh, uh, there you go. Is it ten rounds? Yeah. So uh, okay. two so more to go. And the scores are. Atari's not doing well, but <laughs> all the rest of us are kind of neck and neck. It's it's anybody's game. Oh what? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going for you, but I ran out of ran out of baby nukes. But I have two nukes. <laughs> I think that should be still around the same. You could get us both with a nuke. Mm, right in the middle? Yeah. Maybe. I'll turn it up a little bit. Is it? Uh... See if you'd hit it in the middle, it would have dug out from underneath both of us. Yeah. Yeah. But you'll get him anyways. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't. Well, should I go for another nuke? I don't think. I Why not? The game's it. about to end. Uh, one more round. Yeah. Oh, Funky bomb. We want to see what that does. I can't remember. Uh, it's about there. Oh, oh, that might be good. That's not. Oh, oh. Oh. Nice. Funky bomb is a merv that is. Uh, uh, ground merv. If, a ground merv and is very dangerous if you're close. Very. Anywhere near. That would have been better to use than the nuke. To get take both of you out. Yeah. Oh, and he's... oh he didn't die. Maybe it's not as powerful though. Okay. Well, now that I'm like, I pretty much got him directly on. I don't need to use anything special. I'll just use a missile then. Really nice dirt physics. Yes. Sprite wins! Still in third. Oh, we're tied for winning. Wow. Now it's anybody's game. I don't game. actually... I don't... I don't really understand what the how the points are awarded. Zero, I know if you win, you zero get three. To three. Zero to three, I think. Right, but I know if you win, you get three. Yeah. But if you don't win... Sprite I don't know came what the in second, is. so he got... It's two points. Sprite and I had the you... same points last time, didn't? Oh no, he got two and I got one. Yeah. Okay. You were yeah, in I, first I place. Get. You were in first place. So for me to win, wait, wait, wait. Because it's anybody's game, but it depends on who's first and who's second and who's third. Um, but third seemed to get a point. So I need to get. But there was one round where third seemed to not get I a point because win. two of us got no points. Can I win? Eight, eighteen points. I can't win. I can tie, but I can't win. Uh, you have 15. Yes. So if you get all, if you go to first, you'll get three points. Which would eight, be, make 18. Uh -huh. Let's say Atari gets second. Uh, okay, then one of us will get one. Uh, yes. And you get 17. Okay. So if yep, Atari so I can gets win. second. If oh. Atari gets second. So you need to kill Everyone Sprite by and Atari. Darcy. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Num it is a number of tanks killed? But it doesn't seem... Like, like uh, Sprite hasn't been killing tanks. He's just been not He's dying. Not, and yeah. he, get, he gets second place points every round. Yes. Yeah, Sprite should have zero. I think it's not tanks killed, but what? how many left. If you're first, you get third... Well, he's the programmer, so can't argue with him, but yeah, yeah. it seems that way. Uh, what do I want? Because this, I like Funky Bomb a lot. Well, you better buy it. I will. Um, actually, I'll buy more of them. Oh my god, it's Funky Bomb time. It's all Funky Bombs I all day. I can't because uh, I don't have any money. Well, I think you have a lot of weapons still. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, see, the the player at the top... The color doesn't the, change. The color wasn't matching. The, 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 doesn't, the first bit of color doesn't match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it stays consistent. So that. a bit of a bug there, PIRX. My name was at the top, and it went to the other person's color, and then it went to the person. So yeah. it was like a bit of a mismatch. It's, yeah. it's like a minor, minor, Not minor. Not a big bug, but... So I need to take out... Both of you guys. It's a bit of wind here, so I need to crank that up. Uh, I don't like that you have a funky bomb. <laughs> I do. But I have to make sure I put it very far away from me. Those... No, no, try it close. <laughs> like at zero? Yeah, because then you can see if it works, how it works properly. Yeah, uh, I don't think so. 
Uh, maybe there. Oh, 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 land, 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 land. Might be good. We oh, took him out. Directly. Hit him. Yeah, it's not as powerful, though, is it? It means that he's not, he won't be around to help you, but he won't be dead either. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're gunning for me. You should be gunning for Both of you. Sprite. Why? Because oh, because he's uh, a, he has the most points. Then me. He doesn't. We're tied. You're right, though. Yeah. Uh, if I kill him, I'm just trying to convince Darcy not no, to no, hit me. No, 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 <laughs> no. If, if I kill him, then you can still win, but he can't beat me. Yes. So it, it is in your best interest to kill. The him truth first. is, what's in my best interest is to kill whoever would kill me. <laughs> That's true as well. You have to kill him. I, yes. Yeah. And I... Oh, and you. Yeah, yeah, but you have to kill him to win. I do. One of us, have anyways. To. You have One to. of you. I'm trying to kill both of you. It may not have been best to use a funky bomb because... That didn't do it. <laughs> do oh, God. <laughs> these are the, these oh, are the God. important ones. Oh, God. Nerves do have power. But they can kill me too. They can, yeah. The wind's going well, the right way, so. Mervs do sp spread out, but I think they spread out. Oh, they do go to the left a bit. Ooh, I thought you were going to shoot it too far with that, but you didn't. Oh, God. <laughs> In a pile of dirt, I erupted. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Darcy, heart, and stinky. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now I do want to kill. Definitely do. Watch that wind. Because that yeah. barely moved. I thought it was going to go way more at 500. Oh, nice. Not direct, but it probably isn't. But enough. you damaged him. Oh, uh, yeah. And he's falling. Oh, big buck. Darcy wins! <laughs> Woohoo! <clears throat> Atari killed himself frequently. <laughs> Why would you do that, you poor kitty? Oh, 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 direct yeah. hit! <laughs> direct hit! Yeah. Time to call 1900 Sue Tank. Is that what it said? <laughs> I think so. Oh, wins by two. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. See, Sprite got a point anyways. Oh, because he was yeah. second. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, second. He was yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, great game, PRX. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Great, great port of this game. It works really, really well. Like, just some, some minor tweaks and obviously adding all the defenses. Um... <laughs> It's already amazing to play. And because there's no defenses, everyone's equal. Right? It's not like yeah. it's a problem not having them. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah, a problem yeah. at all. It's, it's a super chaotic game. <laughs> yeah. It goes chaotic. faster because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no defenses. I mean, that's a close score. It yeah. really the did last come down round. to the last round mattered. Could For three of us, only been, Atari couldn't win. Anybody yeah. could have won except Atari, yeah. yeah. Which, is, which is cool that there's that range of points you can get per, yeah. per round. Yeah. Um, yeah, super, super awesome. If you haven't played this game, download it. You can play a bunch of uh, computers, too. It's up to eight. Yeah, it was up to yeah. eight people. That it had 100% of the joy that I remember from the original. 100%. Yeah. yeah, it's so, so much fun. Yeah. Uh, it is the grandfather of all these types of games. Yeah. yeah. This would be an excellent... Uh, I mean, it's not the 2600, so you can't do the online thing, I guess. But this would be an this, excellent. This has online. Yeah, no, this would, they, be, a, this Fuji, would be an Fuji excellent. Net. This would be an excellent online game. Oh because my god! It's yes. turn based. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about lag at all. And yeah, yeah. This, do it. Yeah. Do, do it, it. PRX yeah, for sure. Make this online. This would be the ultimate, yeah. ultimate online game. Yeah. Very simple. No lag. No worries. Yeah. Worries about. I don't know how simple it is to program, but like it would be. 
There's, it would be awesome for. But I believe they're doing. This is open source, um, so somebody else can help contribute the online portion of the game. Um, I mean, it would be, especially eight players would be more complex, and you probably need a server as well to host it to make it easier, or one person can be the server, and then you can um, let them know what your IP address is, and they one person could act as the server, and then you don't need to have a central server. It's an evolution of artillery duel, right? Right, with the two two tanks. Or whatever they are. Oh, he ate all the nuts. Uh, there's more upstairs. But there's also an apple upstairs. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, super awesome, awesome, awesome game. Thank you for developing PIRX. -P and thank you for joining us today. It was great to have you here. Answering the questions. Answering um, the questions. The, all the questions. Mm -hmm. So we played Commando today, a great port of the C64 version, including the audio. I didn't know, didn't think you would get that close. And I just finished my coffee now. Cold coffee? I think it's finished. Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we played Dungeon Keep. Uh, really fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, challenging as well, mm -hmm. especially with the spider. Um, and lots of hidden gold. I'm looking forward to more levels of that. And of course, Scorch. I like how many times there were there was hidden gold. Yeah, and yeah. on screens that it was like, there's the gold, like the <laughs> and we didn't even see it because it's yeah. out in the open. And yeah. ones where it brought you to another screen. There was that one map where it's like a yes. whole yeah, separate <laughs> screen. That was great. The bonus screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very, very cool. And Scorch, of course, a classic, classic game. Awesome implementation of it on the Atari 8-bit. Um, looking forward to it developing further and further. Um, adding in the defenses. We'll definitely play it some more mm -hmm. uh, later on when the defenses get added in. Um, and online play, I mean, that's a possibility. I don't know if uh, that's something they want to work on. They've already been working on it for 19 years. <laughs> so, PIRX, how long have you been working on the game? Um, because I know it started 19 years ago, but I think different people's names were on it 19 years ago. Um, so let's take a look at what's coming up on the show in the future. Well, thank you very much, Neo Media and Danny VC, for liking what we did today. All credit goes to the developers, of course. Because they're the ones who make the games. Um, Erlen's going to be on the show next Friday. Nice. Um, we're going to be playing some chess adjacent games. Chess adjacent. With them. That sounds. They're not chess, but they have chess. Chess like moves. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um, both, I think, are knight, because that's the most interesting piece, or it moves in an L. Um, knight based moves and like puzzly type knight based chess things. So they I should do like like a dance. There should be like a dance, two-player night battle, but like like you know, in like nails. in like a musical or something where like there's there's different chess pieces and they all dance using only their moves. I can guarantee that has happened somewhere. Chess is so old, and dance has been around for so long, uh, longer than chess. So then being dressed up in the chess that has definitely happened. I don't know if it'd be interesting or good, but it would be interesting. Maybe not good, but what I'm hearing is that my <laughs> idea is so good. It's been done. That you think it must have been done because I do. it was that excellent of yeah. an idea. It's yeah. such a natural <laughs> thing to have happen in some play. Like it could be like a dream sequence, like just a portion of a play or a, a ballet or something, right? where they go into like a chess themed like it seems like something in Alice in Wonderland, right? That's what I'm kind of picturing. But And like the queen perfect. would be like all over the place. Ooh, and the king would just oh. be like do do <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like an Alice in Wonderland thing. Yes, exactly. And the pawns would only move a little bit only forward. Do, do. <laughs> Sometimes move a little bit more. <laughs> That's so funny. That's got to have happened. Um so I've got Night Jumper 2K for 2600, Fallen Kingdom for Atari 8-bit. I will want to look for some more 
chess-based, but not chess games. Um, so if anybody has suggestions for games like that, that they know of, on any of the systems, we'll do a mix, 7800, 2600, but not chess, chess-like games that involve chess pieces. Um, Party time for cats, 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 cats. Where do we put this in the list? It's it's a playoff of a song that has shots, 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 shots. Is that too much? Uh, yeah, about a third of the third of that. We're gonna call that enough, buddy, because I love you. Yeah. Look at that thing! Look at what it's doing! Oh, I'll get that on camera. Let's see. Cat cam. Boom. Nobody disturb that little black cat. Isn't that adorable? Look at what Sprite's doing. <laughs> he hasn't woken up to the fact that Atari's like eating something. Now his eyes are open. You're gonna have a oh oh sprite. Sprite has not had any interest in <laughs> the um, catnip so far. He doesn't have interest in the catnip. He has interest in Atari, in the cat, and <laughs> whatever he's doing. That was doing. What are you eating? I would like maybe some of your eats, but he sniffs it and doesn't is not interested. Kitty upper time, yeah. Well, who triggered that? It was Dan ABC. Thank you, Dan. Oh, he's gone back to sleep. He's like, nah. You drug addicted cat. You can have it all. Sprite says no. Just say no. Sprite lives in the 80s. Oh, it's roly poly time. Yeah, I think, I think Atari's done. You want to hand me the lid? Oh, yeah, he's, 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 he's had his fill. This catnip is legal in Canada, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay for cats to get high. <laughs> oh, it only look. 10 minutes. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I have to make a um, a sprite. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got some a lot of unscheduled things coming up. Um, we'll probably do an after dark of oh, what game? was it that I wanted to do an After Dark of? It is uh, Gravitic Mines for the Jaguar, because we got the controllers recently. The uh, Jaguar Pro controllers. One second. Here we go. So these are Jaguar Pro controllers, totally aftermarket. They've got the shoulder buttons. Ah. And this game, Gravitic Mines, um, you control a, a thrust-based ship. So, you know, you rotate and then you move. And these but just these just use some of these existing buttons I th remapped up there? Yes. That's yeah, cool. be because the side thrusters use one and three. Mm -hmm. And it's just, they just share with the side buttons. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is great. Because down here, it's it's hard because you also have to use these buttons at the same time. Cat, cat, cat. Oh my god, all the cats. Um, so, now that we have the Pro Controllers, we can play Gravitic Mines properly on the Jaguar. But we've already played it on the show, so we'll probably do an After Dark for that. Because it is not a short game. Um, but, lots of fun. Um, some... We've got some interviews at some point with Old Style, Todd Fermansky, and Chris Walton. Don't know when those will be, but you'll definitely know. Uh, Elevator Action from Champ Games. That's probably going to be one of the first things up, I'm guessing. We'll see when he has done that. I can take that five off. That's already passed. Um, and at some point... I want to do another multiplayer marathon with all four of us here and play Mule. And now I'm going to add yes. Scorch to that. And then when we play Mule, we'll find out whether they have the same problem that yes. the original Mule had. Well, yeah, that's a four that's a four joystick game. So we'll see if player one always wins the auction. Mm -hmm. Or if some player always wins the auction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is very, very unfair. Very, very unfair. 
Um, and a Vectrex day at some point. I do really I have to work. Russ maybe was the one who was saying that it would be easy enough to keep it from happening. Just We were talking about randomly, like having it like pull them. It can even pull them in order, yes. but it keeps cycling through them. And so it doesn't wait. It doesn't mm. like, yeah. Like if somebody triggers it, say player one, whoever player. It pulls it, it when it gets to it. Pulls all four joysticks if one gets to it. Yeah. It doesn't go, oh, I see one person has got to it. I do that immediately. It has to check all the other ones first before it does the first one. All right. Say so player one gets to the it goal. It was more that like it pulls them. Yep. It's like it does them in order. It's like if hey first player's there, I'll do him. I don't yeah. care what the other ones are. Yeah, doing. yeah, yeah. And then it goes to second. Then it goes to third. And what does then it do fourth. If, if they're all pressing it? Always first player. Like, no, this I'm is the asking bad you. Way. I'm talking. What is your solution to to it? Randomized. It would check all four. If all four are at that spot at mm -hmm. the goal, it would randomly pick one. But the problem with that, even then, is that person can clean up as well, rather than one person gets it, then another, then another, then another, then another. Because if you're buying all the food in Mule, mm -hmm. one person could just buy all the fuel food if they have enough money. And then all oh, the other people starve. Comes, I was thinking of the land. The oh, land choice. that too. The land choice random works. Random totally works. It's as good as anything. The other yeah. one that works is if multiple people have... If multiple people have, you can make it so that you pressing the button before it reaches it means nothing, mm. and then whoever hits it first once it gets there, it if could, you can manage that, it could ignore an early press. It can ignore it. It can like yeah, it can ignore the early press, but with the food one, yeah. the solution would be like whoever, like so long as it can determine that people are at the top, it pulls between them. Mm hmm. Unless you're ahead in in like it randomly distribute. Food to you, food to you, food to you, food to you. It either does that, or <clears throat> it just keeps pushing ding, ding, it up ding, the ding. price until one of them. Because that isn't that how the polling works there. I think it only the only thing is there is whether it's you have enough money to buy price. it. The store sets a price, and it stays at that price. The store price does not go up as the food gets bought. Okay, so when is that? Is that when you're selling something? Uh, you yes, you can determine the selling price. Okay, when. so if you the just store, keep backing off, backing off. If the off. store is um, thank you I get steps. That, I get that the point in it is to have you race. Yeah, but since the but it, you can either have the race. Oh. Find some way to make sure that whoever gets there first actually gets there first. You could have, or you have them. All, everyone who gets there at the same time gets to share, gets to be buying them or something. You could do that. You like can in, have the price just go up. Well, the the race thing mm -hmm. in in Mule, everybody pushes up. Yep. That means everybody goes at the same time. You mm -hmm. could have it so it's like a, a car race where it's a green light. It goes red, yellow, green, and if you go early, you. You don't get to go. You have to like back yeah. off and do it again. Um, so it's whoever does it first after it goes green, and that's like a instant. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yum 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 yum. You can't be not hungry. You're a kitten. <laughs> we have to. Don't throw it over there. Make no, sure no. they can. Uh, people can see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to stop them from mugging our little other friend. <laughs> Go ahead, hit your bell. That's the right order. Stoned, then munchies. Yes. Very smart steps. Very smart, Dan. And steps to do it second. Oh, it is there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's just weird because, like, it doesn't show as much as as there down there. Uh, it's the it? aspect ratio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I center, I center the cat cam so it stays, it gets the middle stuff. That, wasn't very uh, loud. that was a ding. It wasn't very loud, though. We'll accept it. <laughs> anyway, now that I have this um, uh, Jaguar joystick, I'm very eager to play that game again because we failed miserably when playing it. Sprite says no to drugs and moderation in all things. Well, not if you saw him at dinner time. <laughs> Just no to drugs, <laughs> not moderation to anything else. <laughs> Only moderation in things he wants, he doesn't want. He is watching Atari ring the bell. I don't know if he's learning anything. Because they both bitterly complain if if they're not able to get to each other. 
Like if you lock one in the bathroom to oh. to do something, they'll be crying. Oh, well that's nice. Because they do love each other. After such a short period of time. Um, thank that's you, Steps. The advantage of the food stretching. Yeah. Oh, you get to pet that soft new cat. You know, that's only is, months old. He's no softer than Atari. Atari is like a really soft cat. Yeah, he's pretty he's silky. Super he's soft. soft. I'm not sure just yet, but I think my Genesis version of Petsky Robots got delivered today. So that'll be fun to play over the weekend. Oh, awesome, ITC. Sorry, that was random, but I just thought of it. No, it's totally relevant. There's a 7800 version of um, uh, Attack of the Petsky Robots and 8-Bit. Somebody was in, in the Jaguar forums. They're they're like debating whether Attack of the Petsky Robots is a <coughs> suitable game to to port. They're like, well, it has nothing to do with Jaguar. Jaguar is not tile a tile based system. Um, so it's just funny. And and they're like, the game is a tile based game, and they're saying, oh, make it smooth so you can just walk around. It's like that completely destroys the 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 type of game it is yeah 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 it's like well you can only take it so far when you port a game you can't change the mechanics of i mean the game. you can but it's, it's a new game but, then. But, yeah it does change it yeah yeah it's a <laughs> it's a uh, petsky themed game it's yeah petsky <laughs> oh yeah you should make a video of it because the genesis version is brand new isn't it Oh, I've live streamed some gameplay of it already off my YouTube channel. As the purchase of the game gives you the ROM copy. Oh yeah, people already have ROM copies of it, so there's already been streams of it. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have to get ready for the 2600's 45th birthday marathon and get that rolling because it's already the sixth month, and it's going to take forever to play through all the games. Yeah. And it's its birthday's on September 11th, so that's literally three months and one day away. So. Drexel Games' birthday 20th anniversary is on Ooh. September 28th. Oh! I know, very exciting. Are you going to do a 24-hour yeah, with t-shirts? We're planning to do 24-hour game night like we used to do. Oh, nice. Which only uh, paused for a couple of years due to uh, COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to do t-shirts this year? For 20th, you got to do t-shirts for 20th. I know. Who did the artwork for the other shirts? Various people. Various. Okay. I did the uh, Topanga. Mm. There were a few that I did, like the storefront and whatever. Mm. I just traced it. Yeah. Oh, okay. James's socks were more visible than Sprite during the treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sprite uh, was just off camera, but only off the zoomed-in version of the camera. I uh, I am to blame. <laughs> Because I thought he was on the camera. I looked at the little one, and in the little oh. version, he was showing. Yeah, it does go because it's wider. Far. Yeah, yeah. Play his pinball. Okay, so I don't know what's happening next uh, show. I'm gonna try and make it a 2600 or 7800 if I can find some new games that we can play, um, or maybe I'll dig up some old ones because we've been playing 8 bit games or, or atari 8-bit and jaguar so uh so thanks for hanging out with us today oh hi cat uh rc70 vitoko ivory tower collections uh dan avc steps rc70 charles reese neo media thrust godlike mouse thank you so much for making your awesome game uh <laughs> prx thank you again if you rate another channel, we get 250 points. <laughs> I'll get that set up right now. Let's find a channel uh, to raid in the retro category. So ha everybody stay stay put. Let's find the most retro looking stream. Vectrex real hardware, new pickups. Oh yeah, hell yeah. We're, we're going to the Vectrex one. Um, uh, PRX, thank you so much uh, for for making the game and being here. Mike Latow, uh, Nathan Strum, Atari 1974, Buck Owens, lots of people today. Um, Tara Casey, uh, BR Pocock, I think I might have said your name already. Who else? Metal Lunar 7, just at the top there. Anybody in the last couple seconds? Thank you guys for showing off the game. That Scorch port looks really good. It is. If you haven't downloaded it and played it, 
definitely download play it with a friend or you can just destroy the computer try and beat the computer yeah what did we set it to the highest one not one? super high yeah. we had atari was a shooter okay honestly that was the best choice because when you get the really good uh Death. you just die like you don't have a game if you don't go first you're dead yeah, they yeah. Will they're just they're just really good, and so if you're playing if you're playing against the computer, that's fine because when you die and are out of the game, the computer goes boom, 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 and just kills each other. <laughs> but yes. if you're playing against another person, then uh, I don't know. It's just it's more fun if you get to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good weekend. We'll be back on uh, Tuesday regular time. Next Friday is a noon show. So be aware of that. It is in the schedule. I'll have to be change. aware. Be very aware. And uh, so thanks for hanging out. And we're going to raid somebody. So we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>